We did that, uh, you know what I'm saying? The deadliest, the deadliest sixteens. Oh, it wasn't for it wasn't it wasn't yeah. for shit. It Free wasn't for no, yeah. It yeah. wasn't yeah. It wasn't for it wasn't for no money. It was for me to know to who get he, out here to know who he was to know who he knew and for whoever wanted to hear Jay Reader rap some dope ass shit right now. Welcome back to the Plug House Podcast. I am your host, Mike Petterock, and I got my dog Train with me. Chugga, chugga, chill, chill. What it do, baby? Yeah, we welcome back uh, Jay Reader to come back. Hey, man. Hey, man. We, we, right all, back. we in the building, man, to do this Oh, thing again. my good. They got time for sliding because we in here vibing. Yeah. <laughs> man. Talk about it. Yeah, so uh, uh, th- this time we got some uh, some music questions this time, Reader. Okay. And uh, mm-hmm. um, they're, All right. they're a lot more uh, music game. Music, and I've been uh, waiting for this. Hip hop. Yeah. Uh, orientated. So Absolutely. Um, All right. And I think the first one on this list I got here, I, it's a pretty good list, um, but I'm going to rock with, uh, is the mixtape game dead? Is what it? is it now? And are people still using other people's beats? Is the mixtape game dead? Yeah. I'm gonna Our me being not being a rapper. Now. I'm gonna say no. So uh, no. do, do you still he said no, fish for still buy somebody Absolutely. shit at the gas because station? Some that's the, a real nigga. <laughs> some of the hardest, some of the hardest stuff I've ever heard is mi- niggas mixtapes. Well, well, where are you going? That I mean, if still? it's online or something like that, then yeah. But I mean, if you got a, mi- I mean, where are you the, getting a mixtape from? Yeah, online. Okay, I, I get that. Where online? Or where? Where's it coming from? Is it is it a datpiff.com? Livemixtapes.com? Yeah. yeah. My boys. And, uh, are you actively searching? And Spotify has some mixtapes on there. So, I mean, stuff like that. I See, feel like I feel like the mixtape game now is just like DJs putting songs together from people's projects and selling them as mixtapes, if that's the case. What do you mean? If you, you go mean if you yeah. go on to datpiff.com and grabbing mixtapes, like I don't see niggas working hella hard to not put a project out that like they're not album? putting on putting out for all distributors. Ain't okay. no fucking mixtape, nigga. This is a this is a EP. Okay. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like ain't no mixtapes if that's the case. Like if it's a mixtape, it's something that I put together, Frankenstein between this and this and, and I'm that. throwing like, out here a mixtape like it's not perfect like, yeah like a mixtape right now damn near is the playlist mm. word you see what I'm saying okay that so, makes sense cause, cause niggas ain't putting out nothing that's not getting money yeah so I'm gonna put this whatever it is if it's a three piece I'm gonna fuck if it's a three piece five piece ten piece twenty piece whatever I put You're out is on, going everywhere yeah, I'm and hungry. I'm getting all the paid streaming. I'm getting paid for that so if well, I don't know what the, what's the definition of a mixtape? See when I when Probably you say mixtape uh, to me, I'm thinking um, like I'm thinking okay maybe you took a uh, like a a beat from another artist and you started you you freestyled over it or a you beat took, you don't own yeah a beat you don't yeah. own you you, okay, you went so over it as far it, as that or, goes that shit don't even I feel like that shit don't even matter no more niggas ain't even doing it for uh for for credit. But you can't really make if money I got off a it if you don't, I don't own care, it. I care, though. If I got a bar... <laughs> look, look, at the end, hey, look, check game. Check game, bro. Look, if I, don't I got care, a beat... If I got a beat, here for. if I got a beat on somebody's song that got a song out right now, I know I got songs that's on other people's songs. Yeah. That, what what are what we just forced to put them on Spotify? You know, I turn around and hear Lil Wayne got a whole No Ceilings album with everybody's shit. My How favorite album. Did that happen? Did he pay for those beats? See, or that's what I mean mixtape? when I say a mixtape. It's, it's, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. And I don't really give a fuck. It don't matter because if I gas this beat, I'm going to put it out for somebody to hear it. If I don't okay. get paid for it yeah. or not, you know, motherfuckers to get, uh, what do you call that? When you put something on uh, you, you put something on YouTube and they uh, is a copyright, you get copyrighted, pull your shit down, or you don't yep. get money, you can't demonetize. You can't. Okay. You get demonetized. I don't care. Guess what I got? I got all these people looking, looking at, at me. me. Yep, you got uh, that's publicity. The time, that's, the time, that's the time we in right now. All, my, all, all publicity is good publicity. I don't yep. care if I stole Lil Wayne beat, if I took whoever beat. Yeah, if I did it nice. You know what I'm saying? It don't yeah. matter. Because, because really, that's what niggas be listening to, because that's the first thing I'm going to say. I'm going to say, man, that nigga killed that Wayne he beat. He killed it. Yeah. <laughs> he killed it. <laughs> 
do you do you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's up to it's really up to the producers if they want to make remakes of beats or if you want to steal it as an artist. It don't matter. You know you're not gonna make no money, but are you showcasing your skill or are you trying to make money off that song? That's something that you really got to think about before you, you put it out there. It. Yeah. That's so right. if I got to slap on a beat that's on the radio, you know damn well you're not about to make no money. You're gonna get your. It's gonna be publicity though. That's see it though. because I'm- so mixtapes. I would say are solely for publicity. If okay. you're still out here selling, if you're still out here taking niggas beats, jacking for beats, yeah. Then are we it's still, are we still calling it beat jacking? Hell yeah, the producers are. A word, okay. People making the shit are the producers are they word. mad as hell? That's why they want their money. Because I mean, I love Gucci Mane to death. I love that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I listen to that nigga, but I feel like he's not much of a lyricist. Don't so. Matter. Don't I'm going to but his Gucci, beats Gucci don't are do. so See, hard. Gucci don't got to do shit. That, 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 that puts you in that category. That ain't even Gucci man's beat. Them is Zaytoven beats. Zaytoven's beats. Huh? Zaytoven go hard. I got some of him on my on my little shit Zaytoven too. Zaytoven yeah. and Gucci man together are a good producer That's a good combination, combination, huh? That's why sometimes you you get artists that go into the lane of I need to find me a producer that knows how to work with me and now we build a sound together and we rock. That's how that that's shit what they got yeah, that's going. Special. You know what I mean? That's special. Like you get a Cardo and a Larry June together. I like Ooh, that. Ooh, that's crazy. <laughs> you get a car, you get a card. You know what I'm saying? You get a Cardo and a and a Wiz Khalifa together. That shit crazy. Mm-hmm. You get a Cardo and a, and a, and a, and a, uh, and a uh, 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 who's your boy from uh, from Doughboy's Cash Out? I have no idea. What yep. Uh, you, tell know, you. you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> 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 It's bad. Wait, it's bad once I, I turned 35, I was like, I listen to what I like. Nah, yeah, cause, uh, nah, cause, uh, cause, cause, bro, cause, bro got a song. Cause, bro got a song with him. Uh, bro got a song with him. Okay, and uh, and it and it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Because they got that type of flow. You know? okay. The sound is good. And, huh? you, and then you start to correlate that type of person, that person with that type of vibe. With that vibe, and now they cool. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, just, it's like that, but okay, I dig it. You know what I mean? But as far as mixtapes go, bro, mixtapes is all think, publicity. Man, it's all about publicity. If I could put out a ten track, to, if I could put out a five piece, if you're trying to make, if you <laughs> the idea that you're gonna make, um, I don't even say the idea because it's publicity. Publicity gonna get you some bread, so you are gonna make bread off a of mixtape. You gonna make publicity off a of mixtape? But is the mixtape game, uh, game dead? Um, shit, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in it. Are you putting out mixtapes? I'm not putting out songs that have other people's beats. I pay for my beats. I mm. get a hold. Of, I get a hold of the people. every last one of them too, right? Yeah, I, 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 I definitely, I definitely try. I try my best to give everybody their Thanks, credit man. and uh, make sure that they got artist numbers and producer credits and uh, publishing rights and oh, all yeah. my songs. so that they own everything. Huh? Yeah, so we, can, we, we splitting that and we own this shit together. Get together. No, look, look, it's a discussion. If this shit blow up, we need to have a talk. Whatever we decide. Is what the business is. That's yeah. how we're going to rock with that because it's business. Bro. Oh, you know what really? I'm saying? Some people rock different ways. And hey, at the yo. end of the day, me and his business ain't none of your business. Ain't none of your business. So mind your own business. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, man. Do you think the, the mixtape game may maybe exists for the younger generation? People like. I think it's for the older or? niggas now because new niggas is making their own. They're doing everything. Are people just putting out uh, singles and in, in EPs. I don't and even know now. who's putting out songs on other people's beats anymore. That shit been dead for how long? That shit has been out of my <laughs> peripheral vision for some years. That's now. crazy because I'm like huh? a hard beat is five, a hard seven, beat. Eight. Hard beat is a hard hard like beat a, is a hard beat. But the way the industry is, there's nothing to connect with that person and be like, hey. Look at this. There's so many options for you to go on motherfucking Instagram or TikTok and do a duo or do a remix of somebody's snap yeah. or remix somebody's beat or do something. There's so many. I ain't even the open verse up challenge. To all of that. Yeah. Open verse challenges. You can link up with your favorite producer right now and be like, "Do you like what I did to your beat?" And if they do, they gonna they gonna they fuck might with you. be like, "Hey man." Why don't you come over here to LA one time and fuck with me? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you change your life one time. It's that easy now. Yeah, Stop it. That's Kids true, got yeah. that option now. Kids yeah. got that option now. That's the that's the plus side of this technology. I've seen quite a few people on uh, on Blow TikTok up. their entire lives just change because they're, they're posting their their, their songs tomorrow, and now they're on tour. Tomorrow, bro. Tour. Tomorrow. On tour. 
if you you got to think about it because look everything that the industry wants is people to look at you if you got a million people that like that 15 second clip of you doing i just want to sing songs on the tv yeah they're gonna be like <laughs> straight up this is the new hot shit if you got get him if you got 25 million people that was like oh my god i just it just resonates with my soul got him yes you're on tour with the the person who fits your description they're giving deals out for one songs one for i don't for even one know song. about that for one i don't songs. even know about that yeah I'm because I'm I'm not even I'm not even that's not, not my, yeah, that's not no my thing. <laughs> now I'm now I'm at the point to where it's like yo I made a slap because that shit fire. If you yeah. like it, you like it. I'm finna go to work. Yeah, Word. Hey, yeah. I had hey, you know, work. I, got, I got other bi- I got other I business got to attend to. Now. <laughs> not even bills. It's just I got other businesses that I'm trying to. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Shit going to. on around. I this really month, I baby. really would like to explore what life got to offer. I've I've been a, I've been a rapper I've been an artist I've done shows you know it's not something that I will ever get up out of me because I I'm creative I'm an artist but <clears throat> as far as making that my whole making that your go to that's, not, huh? nah, I, that's I not everything I, I'm not I'm not interested in everything in totality that that lifestyle has to offer yeah I know that's right you know what I'm saying you worded that pretty good <clears throat> and so because like it is a lifestyle. Yeah, it's a de- it's a definite lifestyle, and I don't um I don't I don't live my life that way. Mm. So I know what I take and what I can give to that, and everything else, I'm fine with. You know what I'm saying? It's, and that's what I try to tell whoever asks me. I'm like, bro, you do what you want to do. I tell my little brother, you do what you want to do. You got to be a man first. Yeah. By all means, please. And I don't care what these labels are. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They could tell you that you are this and you are that, but at the end of the day, you can't even hold those. If so I have a question for you. Come on. If a label was like, Jay Reader, we like your style. We like what you're throwing out there. We're willing to give you a $2.5 million advance, but we want you to cut your hair, go with the fade, and lose the gold, and <coughs> we want you to wear collared dress shirts. No more polos and none of that stuff. Mm. I'll have yeah, to, wait, so I'll have to cut my hair. Cut take, your hair. Take my gold. No more gold. No more. No more cut. of that jewelry, hippity hop stuff. So what am I doing? We're gonna turn you into what we'd like to call rap pop. How do you feel about that? You taking that deal? Look at his face. We're gonna give you a two and a half million dollar advance. Two it's million. yours. You take it and go. For how many albums? Two point five million dollars. For how many albums? We yeah. want at least yeah. five. Oh, it's five too, that's albums. Too many. That's, too many. that's a lot of that's albums. I give you. <laughs> yeah, one. That, that's way too long. I give you one and a half million worth of albums. I was about one and a half that's, million that's worth one, of albums. That's, <laughs> that's like two. Hey, look, you get a million. That's, that's, I give you two and a half albums. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Two and a half albums for two and a half million, and I could and look, I could save these. No, those got to go. Yeah, we could cut them, but I can save them. Sure, you do what you want with them. So, yeah, <laughs> hey, that's not up to y'all. I'm letting you know that if you did cut them, you could save them. But look, honestly, like if it's a play for the bread 2.5, I can knock that out in a year. Word. Five Every albums? six months. No, two and a half albums? Oh, if, that, if that was the deal? If that was the deal, well, two, if two and a half five, albums. But we're saying, cut it in half. we're saying five. You're saying five, five, I'm saying two and a half. <laughs> all right, so look, if that's the case, I can give you now. Two granted, and a half. we're 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 paying all your studio time and all your producers, and, and we're doing your marketing. And whether if you flop or not, you still get your two and a yeah, half but, million. But that I'm can, with it. I'm doing it. Look, yep, check huh. it. Check the game because that's easy. <laughs> that's a, that's a play. That's nothing but a play. At the end of the day, that's not telling me that I got to do this. I'm I'm obligated to go here. I'm obligated to tour here. I'm obligated. No, well, certainly oh, those are in there. No, nah. <laughs> <Yeah. Nah. laughs> nah, nah, we're gonna need it. you to ride down the Lexington, Louisville, and we're gonna need you to. Yeah, you're gonna have to do some travel. I gotta go down the Bible Belt. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> we're gonna need you to do some travel. That's why we need you to cut those and cut that hair. All right, all right, for sure. So look, I got to do two years, <clears throat> two years, five albums. You do five albums in two years? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Them out. If I'm trying to get out of this contract. Hell yeah. Okay. I we didn't say, out, oh, we didn't that, say. I knock that shit out every three months. We didn't say case. five banging albums. We yeah, just said five. Garbage. <laughs> they're garbage as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just rough draft. Nah, nah, they're just rough draft freestyles. I'm just going, <laughs> and they like eight pieces. 
They Word. not even the eight pieces. They said they Word. didn't give me no limit. I'ma try to finesse my way up out of two point five. That's cool. I could do a lot with that. That's honestly, it's a hear. play. Okay. Like honestly, it's a play. I'm not. I'm not. Now I don't have. They're not asking for too much of myself out of that. With my hair, you ain't gotta sell your soul. I ain't gotta do too much. I'm my hair. You ain't me too. I can grow my hair. It's like too five made for my hair. I can cut <laughs> this. I can cut this. Save this. When I'm done, grow an afro. This, and put it back on to it. Right back in the game. <laughs> yeah. Word. That nigga said some shit I ain't never thought hey, about in my life. Hey, look. Okay. Hey, look. It's, it's modern hair technology. I don't know if it's. So when I not. cut my hair, because I've been contemplating it. Keep them. Keep them. Keep them. Save every dread, huh? Keep them. I don't even. I wouldn't even. What are you saving it, it for? <laughs> <laughs> so, so don't nobody else got it. What? Are you, <laughs> <laughs> I'm weird, but I don't what know. are you saving it for? <laughs> I'm white. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking it's about. It's all good. It's a. It's, it's all a good. Thing. No, leave it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's it a, must it's be a something. back in the back in the back of my mind uh, thing that I maybe think about when that's I have not bad a thing. To drink too <laughs> he that's said, not a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> "That's not real. That's not real." But Hell you have yeah. nightmares about it, and don't tell nobody. Shit. It's cool. Man, it was a dude I was locked up with. Everybody used to be like, "Man, that ain't real. That ain't real." He'd be like, "My perception is my reality." Okay, for and sure. I, hey, and, and hey, as soon as he hey, say hey. that, he was ready to fight. So if you was going to go on with him about that. Yeah, you're about to get beat the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, that sounds like, that yeah. sound like, sound like some bottom of the line shit. Like, That's look, what? I don't have no time to talk to you. The way, that I, the way that I see this shit is how I see it. That's exactly so what it was. if you're anti, then me and you got some shit that we got to talk about. Oh, my, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. my perception is my reality. Yup. Hey, okay, you got it, man. Hey, yeah, exactly. Yeah, hey, you know what, player? You right. Oh, my, my perception goodness. is my reality. And if we're in two different realities, I ain't got no part in yours. I want to ask you something. Come on. You know, while our good friends using the restroom. Why is the best rapper alive always debatable? Because it's based on opinion and everybody doesn't value everybody's skills. Opinion. Or skills, huh? Okay. Yeah, everybody doesn't value everybody's skill level. Everybody doesn't value what other people value. So if you might think that metaphors is the shit. And I, I might do, think I that like real life experience is the shit. shit. Motherfuckers might think that wordplay is better than metaphors. Hmm. I say to might classify them as the same thing. Okay. Some people, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about opinion. When I hear that, I always think about the motherfucking uh, Wayne had a mixtape out that said... Uh, he kept saying on the mix that he was the best rapper alive. He was the best rapper alive. I think it was one of the dedications. Yeah, a whole song. Yeah, and he was like. He put that shit out. Yeah, he was like, I, I would want everybody out there to feel like they are the best rapper alive because you are an artist and this is your craft. And yeah. if you don't yeah. believe in you. Then you suck. Then, <laughs> yeah. You're terrible. You're not very this. good. This is not your You're shit. You're terrible at that's this. That's the question then, then right hard now. Hard work beats talent. Yeah, that's yeah, the, heard, that's heard You that. heard it. Okay, cool. Um, it, so. it, it, uh, it's like uh, Jay Reader said. It's, just, it's highly debatable because there's it all depends on what you like. Like as a person um, yeah. when it comes to your music. So and I guess I'm like. just fucked up because everybody's the best rapper because I like real life experience. I like metaphors nah, and you, I like wordplay. You, you got you got a favorite. And I like storytelling. So who's your favorite? My favorite rapper? Today. Just one? Like if you were... If you today. Were, if you were stranded on an I'd island... I'd probably say Wayne, one. man. And Wayne he, today. He, uh, I today. Ain't. I'm talking about today. Like you woke up today like and his, was like, Wayne's my favorite rapper. Kendrick. I, Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Today, 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 my favorite rapper. Did you I'm, did you guys both listen to the new album? No. I yes. got a new album. You Kendrick have? got a new album. Yeah. Uh, and it's hard. I ain't heard it yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's hard. It uh the last uh, new album that I listened to was um uh I swear uh Vezo. He got rich off Pints Three. I was bumping that in the uh the other day. The other mm. day. So I, you know, I tap into him because I was I was liking Rich Off Pints when he first started. No, I was I was liking Clarity. Mm. When he was putting them clarity tapes out, I was fucking with that. And I feel like it's real close just because, you know, we rub shoulders and pump elbows and we fuck with a lot of niggas that's tapped in. So, you know, it's a lot of things that we on the brink of. Like I said earlier, shit, I know it's unfortunate, but shit, nigga turned 35. I like I like what I know I like. Yeah, so yeah. I ain't trying to somebody tell me, hey, have you heard the new? I hey, like the new what, no, man? I, no, I have <laughs> no, I have not. No, I have not. Sir, get I'm still listening to me. I'm still listening to motherfucking overly dedicated overly dedicated in section 80 from Kendrick. Hey, there you go. Hey, what you like is what you like. What you find you? the vibe, you find the vibe, and the only thing that changes that is a new nigga with that same vibe. With 
Man, I tell you, boy, you hard as all get out, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Tell you, dog, Your middle I, name must be Baker Soda. I really, I really be, I really be <laughs> listening to music. Like it's, it's, it was a time like all that, all of that last year when I was doing that thing. Um, I was it wasn't even that was like the end of my list. I've listened to old school for like, for like. What do you classify as old school? Like old, I mean, I'm talking like 60, 70, 80. Okay. Okay. Not maybe like a little, maybe a little bit of eighties. Eighties, they was they was they was getting a little bit lit. Right. But like, no, nah, I'm talking about yeah. Like old, I'm like old mm. school Sam Cooke oh. genetics and and uh, Sam Cooke and all mean? that. Yeah, like like really long, like really long, slow, Isley kind, like old. Oh. Shit. Like, like um, are we distant relatives? Perhaps. Well, I'm like my positive. Intruders, you know what I'm saying? When niggas, niggas, when niggas is really like really creating whole names for oh. their group, yeah. You know what I mean, like that, yeah. that, that's what I, I listen to. Yeah. That I listened to that for a long time. Okay, and you know, the Dale Phonics, you know, yes, def- definitely. I'm definitely you. Not lying. The Supremes, yeah, shit like uh, that. Supremes, definitely the women's. I, 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 I only listen to it because this nigga always be like. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. So I yeah. went and downloaded the song. And you want to know who the wait, Postman wait was? Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. That's just a slap. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, just yeah, a slap, yeah. huh? No, no, that shit go hard. <laughs> That's like, just a slap. Honestly, I, I'm in tune with all of that, bro. I really like to listen <laughs> That's to That's good shit. I listen to, yeah, I listen mm. to all the music, man. Because mm. everybody took their time to record. What about heavy metal? And make it to I like it. Mm-hmm. I, w- I wouldn't Not tell all of it, turn right? it off. Not I wouldn't all tell if, the, if, 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 if it's against my values. Then yeah, but I mean I wouldn't well, I, mean, talk, I wouldn't not, either. Like, Yo, yeah, turn that shit off. It sucks. Like no, nah. yeah, oh, you know yeah. what I mean. When nah, it comes to heavy metal, man, I I don't know. Maybe it's just the musician in me, but I feel like heavy metal drummers are the best drummers there are. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I'd be like, how the fuck is his foot going like that? What is he over there doing? <laughs> yeah, then it's, then it's, then it's, then it's, then it's turn up, bro. Yeah, you would be like, yo, I can't. You can't hate on it. I'd be like, wow, you can't this... hate on that, bro. It's and really it's it, it's 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 beautiful in its own. Yeah, if in that's your thing, respect. that's your thing. It, it, I'm not about to sit up there. <laughs> hey, look and look and I and I guarantee you, man. And and it ain't no shade, but I mean, look, if you, I guarantee you can't you can't you can't, you can't comb that whole crowd. Or comb backstage, or comb well, fucking the trucks and the equipment people, and not find no black folks. You right about that? Because I be out there with my chucks on, with my black chucks and my Van Halen t-shirt. Man, look. <laughs> How hey man, old are look. you? <laughs> yeah, my you been? My you been? Yeah, yeah I fuck with shirt. that shit. You're like fifty. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh. As far as the music game, music business is concerned. Are record labels still important? Uh, if you try, if you know how to work your contract, if you're intelligent about your business, mm, okay. Because you could, because it's just like a, it's just like a nigga that want to plug you with. It's just like somebody yeah. that want to plug you with some dope. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not gonna take up more, too much more than you can handle. It's really just a bank loan. It's really just a bank loan because they really got to stop playing people like they don't know the business because mm. they see that there's options. So you got to start leveling that motherfucker. Some field. motherfuckers don't know the business. Hey, but at the end of the day, them's the people that get them deals. Yeah, if you're they, right. If they can see that you don't know what the fuck you're doing, you better stay away from them. Yeah. Because they had your ass doing uh, uh, rope tricks. My pops used to say that if uh, if somebody got you, then you didn't deserve what you had. True indeed. <laughs> so, True uh, indeed. <laughs> you didn't, hey, look, that's some old school game for real. I ain't even. I'm mad. I ain't never heard that. Yeah, you for didn't real. that. Because look, you fool enough to get got for what you had, then you, you didn't, didn't need it. it. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't yours to begin with. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that ain't even, you wasn't even nothing but that. a piece on the way to him. Yeah. <laughs> True indeed. <laughs> yeah. True indeed, man. For real. But he took my bike. Oh well, mm-hmm. that you gonna go out bike. there and mow that man yard you was, too? You was, bo- you was borrowing his bike. You was borrowing. Yeah, that's what it was. Wasn't even yours. You, you let that man it. ride your bike. You ain't even know who he was. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I feel triggered, bro. Let me ride your bro. bike. <laughs> sure, you could try my bike. Mm-hmm. And he came up to the park walking. Yeah, man. I just <laughs> Train so water at the, at the Taco Bell, man, and I went in there and then my bike was gone, man. <laughs> Man, yeah, you didn't need it. So as a uh, as a listener, do you care about record labels? 
Man, I used. Is to. that important to you? Are, I used. Are, are to. you more drawn to someone who's in, in, independent? independent? Or is that, yeah, does I that matter to you? And I tell you, when I started, I started to care about. Uh, I mean, I really didn't get into it, but when uh, I started listening to Big Crit real heavy, and he was telling, he was talking about how he was independent and all that. I was like, okay, this nigga is spitting fire. The beat's cool, and he marketing it, and he's independent. I have more respect for. I call it the little guy because yeah, that's a, what you is. You're the little guy. Blue collar hustle. Yeah. So I was like, okay, shit, I don't give a fuck. I'll, I'll give you fifteen, twenty dollars for your album because you out here, you doing it all. You're yeah, doing you're everything. Doing it. Yeah, you it's not more fucking dollar. Robert sitting up there in some Doc Martens fucking pushing buttons and saying, oh, let's push this out today. Could you call Bill in marketing? Yeah. No, no he's not. Tell you, him to you open doing the budget it. up for about 5000 <laughs> Yeah, we're no, gonna, no. Yeah. You, we're going to see how this works over the there budget, in, the, in the lower areas. The budget, the budget, the marketing, the producing, everything that I feel like is out your pocket. So when I hear somebody talk about they independent, if they hard, I'm automatically, even even if they even if I, they not the type of music I listen to, if I know you independent... I'm on you. You're more inclined to yeah, support. support. Me. Absolutely. It's really support. Because I feel like this whole country is owned by those by those big heads. I feel like each industry is owned by the big heads. That's like a piece the, in it. Yeah, the the like the everything, the produce, right. the clothing, the my boy said the produce. I everything. know that's right. <laughs> it's all yeah. owned by a couple big wigs, and they get together and talk about, hey, man, well, you've got the East Coast, you you've got the West Coast, I've yeah. got the South. I'm, I'm, it looks like I'm losing uh, Texas here. What are you, what are you thinking? What can yeah, you do to help? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> my da- I don't know. My daughter's got a, a thing going on. Uh, what, <sighs> well, you know, you like, know yeah, that yeah, Ira yeah, is yeah. – yeah. Oh, right, cool. That's Sorry. cool. Steven's going to Princeton this year, and I can't lose Pennsylvania. What? Yeah, for Come real. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, and we over here dying from we not hurt. having the proper produce. That's all we talking stores. about. I just want some good broccoli. You that's feel all me? I want. <laughs> nah, man, it's, it's, it, it's that's, bigger than that. That's how big it gets. It gets bigger and it but gets But I feel like that's, that's across the board. It. Produce, toys, clothes, music, glasses, music, industry, everything. It's owned by a few certain. It is. And those certains dictate what can and can't. We got 75 miles off course here. Did we? Well, not really. But Who you know what we did? Game? <laughs> no, we're so good. We, we, we fed know, the masses. We're here to, to let it That's grow to what it is. is. So we're all Jesus I was today. Just saying, <laughs> I'm good at the regurgitation, man. I'm I had to I think got, about what the hell it. the question was. Yeah, man, I'm good at I this. I just sipping on this. I hope I don't regurgitate. <laughs> and we good at this, man. I'm the one uh, for the podcast, bro. Hey, Autumn man. things are... Uh, uh, all them companies are controlled by like eight eight different companies, right? Yeah, that's something it, like man. that. Yeah, it's, it gets right. it gets to be where you can single it down to a, a handful, a of handful, a handful, of make a fucking just. And that's crazy yeah, because and that's, that's wild. Yeah, because <laughs> this big guy, even though this storefront says this, they're owned by this big person, and this big person owns like fifty different storefronts. So unbeknownst to you, fucking. They own all that, but they're not putting their name on it. They're keeping the little guy's name on it. So yeah. you guys could be like, hey, the little guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. the little guy's not the little guy no more. The little guy turns into a bigger guy. He yeah. turned into a, a bigger guy. He, he said, fuck your couch. Yeah, he get a check because, hey, look, ain't nobody taking care of me. I know that's right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody trying to. I had an idea Last time I checked, don't no it. bitch want a nigga with no job. Hey, I had, <laughs> I had an idea and they paid me for it. And look. And they boom. paid me for it. Pops used to say, "You don't, you, you don't get paid for what you could do. You get paid for what you know." Mm, Talk about that's some it. real shit. Talk about it. That's, yeah, some real hey, shit. that's the second thing Pops said that I'm fucking with. Hey, real. Yeah, I tell you, Pops cold man. He says some, he says some pretty yeah, good shit. Yeah, cold, he mentions it quite man. often. Yes, <laughs> shout out the trains, Pop man. Oh, man. I, I don't know you, but I feel like I know around, you. Baby. He'd be like, "Your mama in here? I'm tired of shitting niggas." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I, I don't really think record labels are important unless that is what you're looking for. If, they, if that's the kind of deal, if you want yeah. all that help and, yeah. and not to do any of the, I feel like it's a, a lot of that, a lot of that hard work. It's like a loan. It is a bailout, like and, and, and it is a loan. It, 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 exactly. It, but, but it's like if you just want to rap and do that and not have to focus on any of the other aspects of the music Ooh. business, that's hard. Now, though. since you said that, it that's... makes me think that okay. Now I'm looking at you like you signed the label because You're you don't want to put you. You You're don't want to push your. You do what it takes to make yours go. That, that, that's why when the uh, 
uh, contract agreements come across people who pull their own weight, have their own fan base, have their yeah. own following, are already on the road doing their shit. They really don't need any help, but they could use a little help with distribution or, or marketing. That's or why they ma- start marketing giving on those TV. deals out. They get marketing. Do they get distribution? So back deals. to what you said and about the whole uh, hundred hundred million or twenty five million viewers and whatnot. That's why they're grabbing them because they're like, okay, he's got the exactly. viewers. He needs somebody to to to. To send him on tour because yeah, he can't afford I, to yeah, go on he tour. He can't do that right now. He lives in fucking uh, Iowa. <laughs> Iowa, yeah. yeah. Ohio. Yeah, let, me, huh? let me fucking give him a phone call, reach out to him through his TikTok, Instagram. Yeah. And now, hey, man, hey, look, I'm about to. We want to send you to LA, got, New York, got, Connecticut, Florida. Seven hundred thousand. If you want to come over here to uh, over here in LA. <laughs> yeah. And you that's like she and that's for you. And we're going to take care of all your tours and we're going to send you out here because that's really all he's missing. Because, I mean, he's yeah, already man, pushing his music out there. You got twenty five million I'm followers. Saying, he can't do too much off the subway paycheck. Word. Because nigga trying to eat out here. And I like me some subway. <laughs> man, my boy. I had it a few subway days ago. Paycheck, trying to trying to run it up. He got a thousand two hundred million uh, views on YouTube. And he's trying to get it back. He got more than Jared. <laughs> That's a discussion I want to have for another time about the whole streaming thing and how they how they're That's paying That's great. People. That sounds like you'll be back, Jay Rita. I, I would love Let to me, come back. I'll have the, to do research uh, on that, man. I'm going to ask you one thing. Do you feel like you're getting paid your fair share for your mm. for your songs? For my music? From I am, never. From Apple, I am, from Spotify, all from, from all okay. the outlets. Check it out. I am getting as much energy and revenue as I put into the hustle. Mm, that's fucking powerful. That's fucking powerful. And, I, and, I, and that's 100% honest. I'll fuck with that. Interesting. Like like we were saying earlier, man, you put time into the things that you're interested in. That's right. You put your money into things that you were interested, interested in. That you, yeah. Mm. So at the end of the day, you know what I mean? I'm it's all about your life. priorities. Period. If that's something that you really want to do, I got niggas that like to do music, and I got people that love to do music. I got people that, difference. people that want to do this shit because it's their life, and they want to do that shit. And a prime example is um, is the Quack. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Duck. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's a, he, he always hustle and motivate the people in the town to let them know, like, hey, I don't give a fuck about what you got going on. My homeboy, uh, you could do uh, it. B. Sun Gunner said that he was at, uh, with him in the cell, and he, and uh, Duck Manning said that when he get out, got out, he was only going to make just that fly ass music, yeah. and that's exactly what he's been doing. That's what yeah. he's been doing. He was uh, he was locked up with B. Sun. Yeah. Oh well, I need to I need to hear everything he got, and yeah. whatever's for sale, I need that. Yeah, hey. it's, it's out. It's off out jump. right now. It's hopefully, out right uh, now. Uh, hopefully, it'll be out. It'll be. I'll yeah, get, I'll get right him on now. this off it's jump. Right this. Now, bro. That's type nigga I'm in because I fuck. We're trying to get him down here. I'm gonna try to get him down here on the show. Humble kind. You know what I'm saying? And then you got and then you got guys. That are on that are on the come up, you know. That really want to put whatever they can put into it, you know what I'm saying? Into it, you got the uh, like uh, like Huna. So you know what I'm saying like I was telling you about Huna. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Whatever, whatever, whatever he could do to invest in himself, he on he the gonna come do up, it. He gonna That's do the it. best gamble. And I don't know who it was I was listening to said, "How am I gonna take you? How can I trust your investment and you won't bet on yourself?" You feel me? Mm. <laughs> that always got to be important. How much do you believe in you before I'm supposed to believe in you? Mm. So that brings me to my next question, though. I'm wondering if, what if somebody doesn't have the means to gamble on themselves? They gotta have a hustle. They gotta have an ambition. But everybody's not a hustler. Well, then they ain't everybody ain't getting it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Chalk yeah. that one up. Yeah. Hey, Damn, it was in there. That was yeah. straight up. You gotta be for real with this shit. That's gonna like, be a clip for sure after this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be for real with this shit, man. Because if you, if you, who is you playing? Who is you playing? Huh? Hey, you playing yourself? We gonna hit that Snoop, huh? You bullshitting your motherfucking sale. You feel me? Like <laughs> at the end of the day, it was crazy how many times I tried to put projects together and piece together with artists. I was like, oh man, me and you, we could do something great. It'd be right? amazing. And right. Then you go and you say, "Hey, man, I need your wooty woo woo." And they're like, "What's that?" They don't even have it, and it's not because they' not up on it. It's just because they <laughs> haven't dive, They haven't put themselves into it. Certain and people are, are lazy. Take, you know, you don't take the craft seriously. 
Some people are lazy and and, and don't want to work. It's interesting that you said your craft, and I'm sitting here thinking that's because it's your craft and you haven't put into your craft. And you was like, their craft. They're not taking their craft seriously. You got to take your craft seriously, bro. If this is what you into, this is something that you want to do, you need to do it like, you know what I'm saying? Like you you want to be the motherfucking best. The nigga T.A. Green said you got to be on it like you want it. Yep. Mm, That's a cold. Yeah. You got to be on it like you (laughs) want it. Be on it like, like you want it. I mean, what else you gonna do? Yeah, you playing. You, ain't nobody gonna give there's a fuck. A, if you uh, I've come across quite a few people um, who were making music when I first started 10, 12, 15 years ago, and they don't even do anything like that anymore. And it's mm. like uh, you can't be mad because I continue to stay consistent. Yeah, you if it's something you love, it's something you love. Yeah. If it's what you love, I kept I kept watering everything I did, and and it. it you know, that's interesting. It always developed. But that's why uh, motherfuckers go from, we'll take sports, for instance. They go from players to coaches to staying in the system, to staying yeah. involved with it and because they, they love it. to be on the yeah. sports center. They just want, yeah, they then it, they just I mean? want to be a part of it. Shit. Yeah, bro, it's like that. You just, you stay inside the area. If I can't do this, I'm going to do this. If I can't do this, I'm going to do this. I love this. So this I'm is what I love. Stay in this area. Interesting. If that's something that you like. I hear you, black man. Mm-hmm. All right, this uh this next one is a split question here. I'm gonna yeah. let I'm, I'm gonna let Rita go first and, and then you go. And I need you to speak on behalf of the the listeners here. All right. Not not yeah. an artist or anything. Well, I don't want to pay anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you how, is it free? How do you Reader, how do you feel about ghostwriting in the industry? Oh, How do I feel about ghostwriting in the industry? Yeah, is it okay? I feel about every, I think everything is okay if everybody's getting paid. If okay. Everybody's Bottom getting line, credit. If everybody's getting their credit, you could be MC such and such and have the dopest rhyme, sir. And I will not say anything if you pay me. If if all the business is done correctly, this them is your raps that How, you pay for. If, if somebody approached you and said, "Hey, I like I, I like the music you make, right. and I would like you to to ghostwrite my songs for me." So all the it. songs that you make, I'm willing to pay you two thousand dollars a song. Okay. Oh shit. Got you. Got you. You pick your beat. You tell me what your song is about. I got you. That's even all all up to you. Yeah. Oh no, I don't. You want just that create the song. You don't want the beat. I just want lyrics. You just want to be able to write the lyrics. I mean, if it's not two thousand dollars a song, I mean, I you could. might do. All I that. want some more. I'm just saying. If, if, yeah, if, I'm about to say. I you, want some more. If if the label or an artist want what. Well, Wants to pick the beats that that you rap on, then they're always going to be disappointed because of what they thought would be uh, on the beat. You know okay. what I'm saying? So okay. it, it would have to be that, that's completely true. Okay, on fine. you. All right, two bands is fair. Twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. Right, he said two bands is fair. Twenty five hundred. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> cool. And now pick the beat for you. And now we we got it going. No on. rights, no nothing. Just twenty five hundred flat. You'd you write got it, you. bro. It's all you. I don't give a fuck. Don't tell them nothing. How many songs do you think you could knock out in a year? In a year. Yeah, twenty five hundred. If I'm getting paid, twenty five hundred each song. Yeah, bro, I'm living. I'm living, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm got living, to do bro. nothing else. That's a fucking check. I'll yeah. knock out four yeah. songs. Yeah. I can rock, I can knock out four songs a month. I can knock out five songs a month and be richer than half the people I know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Two thousand dollars a song. Two yeah. times five is ten bands. Yeah, ten bands a month. Ten times twelve is one twenty. Fuck one twenty after thirty three percent is ninety thousand. You hear me? I'm Gucci. I'm straight, bro. Just and let I you might, know. And I might do something else. All that right yeah. there is niggas who've been do something else. niggas who've been going to that's work why, and shit. That's why. Yeah, I'm looking at. I'm milking everybody like, damn. Why y'all not at, at um Turks and Caicos? Yeah, Chilling. like y'all don't ghost right. <laughs> oh, me and baby yeah, had it. That's man. crazy. That's a, man. that guy Jay Rita's always <laughs> leaving what town. The fuck he's doing. I think he's he's never <laughs> he's, he's never here. He's, he's yeah, right. Shit. Yeah, on the gondola. I'm gonna say <laughs> as a me? listener, I'm cool with the ghost writing as long as what you're rapping is what you about. I don't want to hear you mm. talking. I don't want to hear you mm. talking about. So they some could be. So they could be a gangster like Easy E, but not know how to write the rhymes. Yes. Boom. Pay me. I got you. Gangster. Yes. I got you. Yes. Oh, you're fluffy. Yeah. Don't trip. I'll write you. Some you done been out here. Rhymes. You done did this, this, and this. You done live like this, this, and this. I got you. Cool. Give but I some- tell you what, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear you talking about you're gonna motherfucking do some shit. That you ain't never done in your khakis. Perfect, bro. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me just let me know what you uh just you let wear me know khakis what you got and dark. I saw you. 
I saw you at the church's chicken and you wearing khakis, a Doc Martin, and a Nautica shirt. <laughs> hey, man, you was real spiffy, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You was real spiffy. Yeah, man. you were spiffy. I think you was out here being spiffy. You didn't look like you had not one ounce on you. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean an ounce of anything, courage, dope, or weed. Damn, my boy said courage. courage. He said dope. courage. Integrity. Yeah. You just out here you, fucked you up. Just out here. <laughs> You just out here fucked up. But I'm cool with the ghost riding because, you know, uh, I think about how, I don't know if it's true or not, but like Gilly the Kid was talking about how he wrote for Wayne. Right. At, yeah. at the beginning of his shit. And so I'm thinking, okay, maybe because, I mean, I I love Wayne since the block is hot. Right. So shit, if Gilly was writing that and. That's fire. And when, yeah, that's hot. That's fire. Wayne, if you wasn't about that, though, then I got a problem with you. Yeah, I feel like it. I feel like a ghostwriter's job is to shut the fuck up. It is. Yeah. It is. Don't I think say I, nothing, I, and you can I've get never, your money. I've never seen the contract or anything, but I'm sure like that. That's got to be something that's, gotta that's be in there. It's got to be a clause in there. Huh? Running around like I wrote this nigga shit. Yeah. No, you're fucking up the money now. Gag clause. Yeah, 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 yeah you feel me. Pretty so much. at the end of the day, also I think it has to be a situation or a conversation to where it's like, all right, I have to know who you are. That's I'm it. writing for you. I need to know you. I'm not Absolutely. about to write you. It's not like, oh, I'm about to go to this vending machine and pay twenty five thousand or twenty five hundred dollars, and ooh, I need a pop. Burst. Yeah, that shit's gonna sound. Yeah, corny I as don't want a motherfucking. Yeah, shouldn't nobody be ghostwriting for you? And yeah. motherfucker, you talking about you fucking all these bitches? And really, low key, you done did years for being a Chester. Yo, yeah. you feel me? <laughs> or yeah. you married as hell? On or you, yeah, publicity. you being cuffed up? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not no, doing it's not, that. It's not yeah. cool. Come it's on, not, man. It's, it's Paul not. pimping ain't pimping. It's limping. Hey, Stop look, it. you like, hey, hey, how you start? How you finish? Look, That's as what they in say. the end of the day, look, bro, you really gotta make sure that if, as an artist, you you know, some people got personas, some people is honest with their shit. It's, different genre. I will say that's one thing to be that's tough though because you have to if somebody's gonna ghost write for you you have to be willing to let them in your house yeah. and if they're in your house then they see your skeletons yeah that's fine <laughs> kind of that's the type of music of. if that's if, the type of music that you're into you can give them a, a, a I mean say, yeah, kind of say say I'm the artist and I'm paying him for these songs he can make them whatever he wants and he sends them to me and then I'm going to go through them, play them, be like, okay, I like this one, this one, this one, this one I don't want. So I'm willing to pay you $7,500 for these three three, uh, three songs. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> and then, Blessings. And, and I'm then, like, sure. And then this guy can get the money from these hit songs that are probably going to end up making millions. So he's part millions. of the royalties as well. They're probably going to make, they could make, depending on the engine behind them, yeah. um, millions of dollars. Right. But he's getting his money up front for something that took him... Half a day. Yeah. Less than half a day me. a song. Half, yeah. Half least. a day a song. At least. I'm with it, man. I that's, support that's because he, could, he, he could crank out 20 songs a month. But at see, least. at the end of the day, you know, there's contracts involved with that. There's there's business that comes behind that. It's more business. It's than business. It is a, a lot of times it's their it's, it's their opinions, too. Like like he he, um, he could make the five albums for the label and the label could be like, oh, well, we don't really like these last three. So we're not going to count them as part of. Well, we're not willing to accept these. Yeah, I we say, don't want I these. I say, okay, cool. Count all three of them as one. And give me my and bread. And let's keep it pushing. Yep, done. Mm, I like yeah. that answer. You feel me? Like, all right, That's you smart. don't like that? That's cool. Look, tech, That's count smart. it as one and a half, and now you one and a half more. Because I gave you three, and you don't want that? That's good. You didn't give me specific. Like, it's business. That's smart. It's business, bro. I'm I'm not about to sit up here and and, and play them type of games with y'all. Y'all not about to sit up here (laughs) and have me in this shit forever. Have me on some other shit. Uh uh. I got to do that. That sounds like seven (laughs) albums to me, motherfucker. (laughs) We are, uh, we're about 42 minutes. We're going to, we're going to roll this shit till the food get here. Let's go. Maybe even a little longer, you know? I want to ask a question. So, do you feel as though the people who. I won't say the people, the rappers and the industry who fi- who has rappers and artists are differ from people who are say they're musically inclined, but you know what I'm saying they don't have any passion for it and they just fucking around. Do you see the which side that is more respectable? Wait, what? Because you're talking me. about the artists. You talking about artists with labels that have other artists. 
I'm people talking, I'm talking about, about artists people, as artists. Artists as artists. Are, are, artists as artists and artists that just be playing. And art and pe- they're not artists. They're just like people. They're just people. They're just who talented. Have, they're just, there you okay, go. Okay, so talented people as far as artists, they don't count. Because they they're don't not count. an artist. They're not an artist. Okay, because it's a crap. It sucks. It sucks to say. It's like, oh man, you're really good, man. You could build the best houses ever, man. And you've been the, the I don't way want that this to. guy he just don't do it. Yeah, well, then why the fuck are we praising this guy for not doing what he's... Then why are you? we saying his shit's cool, huh? Because yeah. he don't care if it's cool he or did not. It, he did it one time, and now he's great? He did. He it's people, <laughs> yeah. It's people, yeah, you feel me? It's people doing this shit every day. You lace your fucking shoes, and now you're the best. And now you're the best shoe tire ever. Nah. It's the advancements every day, player. What they say, what they say, yesterday's score don't count today's game, boy. Ooh. Uh, that go hard. Yeah, oh, it don't matter what oh, you my. did yesterday. If you're not keeping up with what the fuck going on, that's why I never disrespect these new niggas. I'll never be like, oh, yeah, they cool, but I don't fuck with them. No, they doing their thing. And when it's time for me to pop up, they'll move. They'll yeah. move and let me they'll do my thing. Like, they'll move out the way and be like, oh, shit, yeah. Because yeah. I, got, I got my space. And because yeah. I didn't I'm not shut worried them down. about your space. I'm not shutting down Word. what you got going on. Just uh, do your thing, player. Yeah. Okay, cool. And, and then when it's time for me to do mine, watch how I do this. And, and watch me. Watch me. Yeah, because <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's only one me, man, and I'm the best one. Mm. I got a question for you. Do you remember when you were making music, but you hadn't done any shows locally in Alaska yet? Okay. Think back to that time. Okay. And then you started do, doing shows, being actively public. What do you think that did for you? Fucked up my relationships. With what? With, what? <laughs> with females. Oh. <laughs> Fuck me all yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, you I started was, going hard in the city? I was doped in. It <laughs> <laughs> wasn't shit you could tell me. I was like, oh, they fuck with me. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I just Bitch. did. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, hey, no, 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 hey, no, but that shit, hey, but like I said, you got, uh, in order for you to, in order for you to learn, you got to live. Yeah. Hey, hey, there it is again. So it was, it was some things that happened when you thought you was the shit that to humble your ass real fast. Do you feel like, I mean, I, I've, I've known you for like six, eight, eight years about so far. Yeah. And, uh, I'm you kind like of you've learned a lot. Hmm? I'm kind of it's upset like you that you've lot? just now introduced this guy. Just so yeah, you know. it's cool, bro. Yeah, I, mean, I, I knew good, it was gonna be a good fit. I've got a pwn to pick with you. It's cool, bro. Because now, because now we now now it's all the way lit. And we all comes this. together in now the right we can time. Do this whenever. Yeah. Now you can be. Uh, now you included into the circle of the you you yeah. you ain't in the house, but you in the circle. Yeah. It's a circle the circle across fathers. The circle is the, the circle is around the house. The house, the house only got a, the circle. On, the house only got a couple members in the house. Because I'm a big nigga, so somebody gonna have to. You in a you in a circle, yeah. You in a circle, but it's only a few members in the house. You know what I mean? And and the house is 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 the foundation. So, Always get in you know the what house. I mean? It's a couple of things still allowed on the property. Word. You know I mean? so, We're still good. So you do you, do you feel like you've learned a lot? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Is, is yeah there, most definitely. If I you hadn't, a, you'd be a fool. I see a lot of people who who make music, but they stay inside their house. They don't really go out. They don't make that They're step. They're in the same place. Yeah. Huh? They don't make that step in being active in the, in the actual physical community. Yeah, outside out of shows. Yeah, it's it's, it's and tough. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell them the, uh, and stress the importance of how much that's going to do for you. It will. It will do a lot for you. It will. It will boost your confidence. Why it would will, you not want to? Because man, Some you think that scared. is enough. Some people think it's enough. Hey, Some man, scared money like, don't make money, man. I got a that's song true. like that. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't, I ain't yeah. never, I'm yeah. just tell y'all song, right song, now, hey, I ain't song, never heard it, hey, but song, OG told song, me when I was 12, number one. shit, scare money don't make money, young blood, song, you get out there. Song number one, uh, shout out my brother Twin, man, shout out uh, the, the boy Lona Luke, man, yeah. you know what I'm Luke, saying, yeah, yeah. Twin, Twin yeah. made the first song on the shout last project. Shout out to Chief, man, that's business, my dude. Man. Yeah, yeah, I fuck but, with but I throw back T, Chief 2G, that's my dog. Chief 2G, I don't know the man, but you know what I'm saying, I did seven years, six years, so I know, I done heard enough. You know, yeah, shout out to my brother twin, you know what I'm saying? East side, shout out my little brother Rio Bam. East side the family. You know what I'm saying? Every, yeah. Everybody that rock everybody that rock with the house, man. You already know it's all it's all uh uh we do yeah, this. Yeah, we, I'd rather we, be in the house than out in the cold. You man, heard tell me? man, no no free no no free room and board in the house, man. You yeah, know yeah, you saying? better pull your own way, you better bring what you got. Yeah, man, Pay bring like your way. Bring it to the table, man. What is that, man? Like, <laughs> bringing nothing to the table, you ain't finna eat, man. Oh, yeah, look, you can't sit here, that's baby. Why, that's how it go, man. Matter of fact, you owe me three jaw lines this hey, week. You feel me? <laughs> hey, look, hey, look. 
Hey, hey, man, look, man, catch, catch one, throw one, and Freaky Bums is dropping at the end of July, so we got singles coming out, music is finished. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm looking uh, forward to it, whole actually. A lot of trail shit, man, you know, they, uh... Now, what made you go with the trill thing, you know? Because that's a Texas thing, you know? It's a Texas thing. Yeah, it is already, man. I just man. felt like, you know, it, it, fit, it fit my... Uh, I feel like it fit your whatever you I feel you, like it fit my, my, my whole life, my lifestyle, man. I'm, I've been moving... I've been moving trill for a long time. You know what? Excuse me for saying this a Texas thing. Trill is universal. It's universal. You know what I'm saying? Just it, like it, real. It was, it was coined. It was. I feel like it was coined in, in, in a Texas area. It was, yeah. but I mean, it's so, it, it's everywhere. And shout out to Bun B because I I met Bun B this year or last. Shut year, up! And I gave him some of my trill merch. Yeah, yeah I saw that. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was legit, man. That yeah, was really legit, legit man. Yeah. Shout out to the king of the trill, cool. man. I it saw was that. Wow. I felt like I that, that, that's something that needed to happen. Well, it, yeah. Absolutely, uh, you know what I'm saying. So that was real. That, that feel good that for was you. A blessing. That felt really Fuck good. Yeah, man. man. Hell yeah. Good. Really good. Uh, That's shit. cool. Shout but out shit, PMC chat. That, it's just, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Recipes, Mr. Butler, and shit. Mine. Uh, it just feel. It just feel like it's 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 a whole lot of being true to yourself and being real. Exactly. That's what it is. You know, being true to yourself, being real with the world. And uh, you know, put them together, man. It's, it's all the way trill, man. And, and my my trill ain't necessarily your trill. Your trill, you know what I'm saying. And our trill ain't man, our trill ain't Charles. Yeah, you but it's still I mean? all trill. But, but it's, it's all, all but trill. It's all trill, man. Yeah, that remind me of something that was like a motherfucking. To the people out there working nine to five and shit, they still hustling. Hey, you still hustling? You get whatever hustling. you got to do to get a buck, man. To get, get your buck. look, that's what you got to do. Ain't, ain't nobody, nobody judge, man. Bro, we ain't got no, we ain't got no reason, no, no, uh, no, no type of purpose to be nobody judged. Yeah, right? so I don't know why the fuck you hate. Yeah, do your thing, man. <laughs> do your thing. You. That's why I said back to the boundaries. The only reason back why to it's the offensive, you know what I'm saying? Back to the boundaries. The only reason why it's offensive is because you let it be. Because it's a book out there that my mom made me read when I was ten. She was like, "I want you to read this book. It's called Walking in a Fence." Because I was mad. I'm punching people all the time. Okay. And I'm like, he said this. Yep. <laughs> and she's all, well, is it true? Well, why are you mad? Have you thought about anything? Or you just thought you wanted to hit somebody? I thought I want to hit him. I thought I want to hit him. And <laughs> yeah. I thought he would be cool yeah. if I hit him. Yeah, it would be better And he if was I cool it. after I hit him. But look at you. Now you're suspended. Yeah. You're sitting here. Your father going to tear your ass up when he get here. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> and so I'm thinking, damn, why do I let so much shit bother me? Why am I walking in a fence? Mm-hmm. Best thing ever. As soon as I started hearing, hey, that, nigger, dope, I was like, oh, shit. That's fire, that shit don't bro. bother me none. Y'all niggas tripping. You know, matter of fact, you my nigga. <gasps> shit. Hell no. All right, so the next question I got here is, um, why do you think most record deals suck? <laughs> <laughs> because ain't nobody trying to pay nobody no money. Shit. I'll hit him with this. Well, you're already doing it, and you're barely getting paid. So why do we have to pay you so much? So if you were making music and you, Atlantic Records approached you and mm-hmm. was like, "I'll give you three million dollars for five albums." Okay, deal. See, the mm. problem with that is that label is going is going to choose what they what they decide as an album. Ooh. See, yeah, see, all that's that, all problem. that's negotiable. That's a problem. Oh, that's you could you could bro. make 60, 100, 200 songs and they and they could be like, nope, we still don't have our three albums. Well, out of that hundred, you better find an album or else it's me. <laughs> hey, and hey, yeah. it's, you it's better very find important. One. It's very important <laughs> yeah. artist. Uh, it's very important artist that you get a that you get a a, a a music lawyer. You get a lawyer. Ooh, one that specializes in the, the music and music entertainment in the industry. Yeah. Entertainment lawyer is very important. I necessarily, you know what I'm saying, I ain't Stepped into that genre to the point to where it's it's, that it's important, it's a priority yeah. for me. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying at the that. end of, at the end of the day, that's something that's definitely necessary. If you're starting to jump into the industry, if you're looking for distrib- distribution and you're starting to do contracts and shit like that, you always gotta have somebody to read that paperwork. If you're not finna read it, make sure that you somebody got somebody do. that's on your side for your best interest to read that motherfucking paperwork, man. That knows what the fuck they're reading, yeah, that too. That knows what they're talking about, because Auntie down the street ain't don't give a fuck. She don't know. She, she don't know, get paid she don't know what them six letter syllable, them six syllable words mean. The, the, uh, cousin Corey don't understand 
They don't get it, bro. But he cool. He cool, but spend the, <laughs> spend the money. That's what I'm saying. Invest, invest, if you're going to invest in something, invest in yourself, man, and make that yep. shit and make that shit count because it's going to come back to you tenfold. Man, if I don't you're know serious. What, I don't know why it keeps seeming that, but anytime you do anything that has to do with a substantial amount of money, you need to find a lawyer that is in to that specific thing you doing. Yep. They're not telling us that. Don't go and get you a tax lawyer and you out here selling dope. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. yeah. And, uh, and uh, that might that might be appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> that might be appropriate. You might need to figure out how you got all that money. Yeah, you, uh, you maybe. Yeah, you might need maybe. a tax lawyer. Now, right that. now we trying to fight these this United States of America versus so and so. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You need a regular. Uh, you need you a need, criminal defense yeah, attorney. Criminal yeah. defense attorney, bro. It's gonna be a situation, man. I'm All right, so um, uh, like I was saying, back when you were uh, not doing shows, then you started doing shows locally. Who was active Ooh. then? Who do you remember being active? Just give me some names. Oh man, um, um, who was active when you first got started? You, you was active, like uh, lean. Yep, uh, active. You was active. Um, my well, dude, Manny was active. Who Duchess, gave, Duchess was active. Who gave you your first show? Mr. Moore was active. Okay, okay, yeah, I know Mr. you're talking Moore, about. Mr. Okay. Moore, Mr. Moore was active. Mr. Moore gave me the first show at the fucking uh, what is that off of Gamble at the uh, what's the, the lounge? Uh, S lounge, no, the, the X lounge, the S lounge, S lounge. Yeah. S lounge. <laughs> this is my first show at the S lounge. Middle of Fair, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know about. Yep, Barry's yeah, right yep. there. Nah, it, it, he's on nah, full ass lounge, full. It's the, it's the ho- it was connected to the hotel. What's the hotel called? You know, Black I Angus. Know. That shit's still there. No, nah, you no, you no. too far down the it's, street. It's it's it's, it's back by, closer to the uh, BMW. Uh, yes, yeah, closer. Okay, to the, I know what you're talking about. Yep. Area. Yeah, it's on Knife. Okay, yeah, yep, I, I know exactly what you're talking knife. about. The trap. Okay, yeah, right there. The, Mr. Yeah, Moore gave exactly. you a show there. Yeah, Mr. Moore put me on. I recorded I my first project at that with time. Mr. Moore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was. Is that working something I heard at, already? Yeah, bro. Which that's one? The SD the AK that six one nine. Okay. I don't that all okay. that shit. Yeah, all right, all right. Bro, that, <laughs> that all that, that shit, shit. Bro, that shit is still on the internet, man. I can't shake that. Of course, that so shit. internet don't let nothing I go once you get it. I can't shake that shit at all, bro. And you won't. I won't. I would never. I would never take it down. You know what I think is really important to people who are who are fans of your music is 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 that they are a part of watching the development process. Yeah, I, that that's what I learned. That's why I never take it down. I yeah. would never take it down. I want to see where keep y'all see where I came from. You see the music that I wish I could put the songs that I did before I did that up. Yo. Or put them somewhere like if were they I trash? Knew about the sound. Were they horrible? No, they were amazing. Oh, okay. They were I was never dope. Okay. I had to fucking I man, I was just I was just talking to somebody that knew me from back in the day and they was like, "Yo, I remember you used to give me your books." You used to give me your notebooks. And I used to read them shits. And I used to be like, yo, this is fucking crazy. I was like, I never liked myself. I never was fucking. You're the with second it. guy I've heard say that. Because you, you're an artist. You're sensitive. You Take don't want to, you know, everybody, you don't want to get judged. Tech nine. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to, you don't want everybody to know. Because if you're really doing it, you putting what you you putting your insides on yeah, that. Yeah. Like, That's crap. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I spent I spent time I spent my time doing this. I thought I used my mind. I put my insides on this paper. This is personal. And yeah, this is personal. So if I let you see this, I'm not even letting people see this mm. before I started rapping. And now I'll just be the dopest nigga in my head. Boy, I'll be the coldest nigga. Aye, the yeah. best rapper alive. You know, you know, <laughs> and, then, and then, you know, whoever was my closest friend, I'll be like, hey, look at this. Yeah, yeah. And they be and like, like, what the fuck, bro? This shit, This Ooh. is what you're doing? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. This is what we're doing today? Oh, shucks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. This is what I got going yeah, on. Or whatever. Shucks. You know? Yeah. And that and that's how, you know what I'm saying? I built that confidence to where when I was uh, able to get out of California and go to another place, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm me. I'm this. You know, that's what I do. But, you know, I could I could do this. I could do something else. Yeah. You know, and somebody telling me that this was fire is what gave me the next the step to be able to be like, hey, you know, I made this is me and and I and I could do this. You know what I mean? And they'd be like, oh shit. 
And then now it's the next time I see somebody, it's like, hey, you know what I'm saying? It's me. I do, you know, it's yeah. a part of the resume yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's You know yeah. what I'm saying? And now they be like, oh, wow, would you like to do a show? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now it's like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? It's Jay Reader. Whoop, 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 whoop. If you want to fuck with me, you know how to. You, yeah, you know every, how to get down. Every, and you step it up every because time. Because I can't sell you better than you can. Man. Yeah. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got to take, you got to take every piece that you get. Because if you don't fuck with it, what what is say sugar free say if you're not the Ooh. shit to you, then who is you no. the shit to? You, know you feel me? Like look, you know that sugar if free. You're not, if you're not fucking, if you're not fucking with yourself, man, then nobody ain't fucking. With you. Yeah. So back uh, back to what you're saying when you first started uh, being active in the community. I would say Manny. I would say you. I would say it was the LME crowd. It was because these are all people that what, was at that first. What, show. What was LME already together? Was yes. I already with LME when you? When I believe you first so because they was at my show. Okay. It was at the show at the S Styles. Duchess okay. was there. Manny was there. L E was there. I feel like I met you when you were uh, with uh, rehab. rehab. Yeah, rehab. Tastic or, 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 or maybe r- and Tastic right was before there. that. Right, a little bit before that. The oldest song I got on my phone is uh, "Ain't That Some Shit." You have that. It's on my phone. No, so you have that. Yo, and that, and that <laughs> it's in my top we were, two hundred. Our last songs, we were, bro. And that's when we were reaching. That's when we were reaching to try to do some shit and really put the shit down. When Did you learn some shit in. when you oh, when you were fucking with, with Alvin? What? what with uh, rehab? What did I do? What did you learn? Yeah, oh, I a learned lot? a lot. That's how yeah. I branded. That's how I started branding. Okay. That's how we came up. That's how. That's when I. Who's realized Brandon? That shit. <laughs> no. That's when I. Was, that's when we started branding. That fucking. Shut this, the fuck look, up. This 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 face. This smiley face. This smiley oh, face. Oh, boy's name right is here. Alvin. <laughs> yeah, Alvin. Alvin. We're going to say Alvin. But my boy Tastic, man. Shout out to Tastic. Shout out to Tastic. Shout out to, uh, what was it? It was Star Click at the time, wasn't it? It was Star oh, Click at that, the time. Who's that other dude? I think there's another dude. Um, Tay. Um, that's his name. Yeah. That's the uh, name. Yeah. yeah, yeah, my boy Not Tay. Not Tay Tarantino, but Not the other Tay. Not Tay Tarantino, the other Tay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so, uh, that guy was one of the first people I think I've I've noticed uh, locally that had over a hundred thousand uh, uh, plays on a song. Definitely. Period. Like uh, on the on the internet, he was one of the first people swaggy. I've ever seen. Super swaggy man. Yeah. He took advantage of that and he could definitely do it. He Hell yeah! But uh, my boy was cold man. Um, I ran into Tastic and he fucked with me because he did because we was definitely into the same situations and outside of the music, and um, uh, I fucked with it. Um, he, uh, I followed him for a while. Fuck, Ooh, I probably got eight to low it, too, brother. I got like um, eight to ten. You right? Yeah. Go ahead, man. Managing, I'm over here managing. Well, we're, we're about <laughs> we're an hour in now. I got to pee hour. again. For real, I'm gonna go before you. Yeah, we are gonna have to figure this out. But I, th- I think we're just gonna keep rolling until we until we got I mean, to. Shit, that's what it sound like. Yeah, you good? Shit. Shit, that nigga gone, so it looked like we just <laughs> talking up in here. That ain't nothing new. Hey, man, I told you, I told you he's gonna be a good fan. Hey, man, that I was is like, you know crazy. what? I, th- I think both of you guys are gonna uh, gonna definitely fuck with each other. Oh, it's absolutely, be a good, a good energy. You man. know, good vibes, good people. I'm down for the ride. I've, I've known, uh, known, like I said, for for if six to eight years at least, uh, being I'm, involved in the, in the music jelly. scene, and he's been like, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're <little> man. <laughs> So he's like, been, uh, yeah, he's been, uh, he, he's been active the whole time. Sometimes, you know, um, uh, you, you go through life and you don't make music and then you bounce back into it. But he's always been active this whole entire time. And I've, um, he, he's another person I could talk to that uh, who has seen the music scene change the circle of people that are popular at least two or three times. So when can we expect you maybe to, since you said there's a certain time that you go through not making music and then you get back into it. When it, can it, we it expect you to get back into it? With, uh, with him? With I, mean, I, I dropped that album last year. I mean, what more do you want? I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still promoting that one. The album I mean, that I enough. wasn't a part of. It's crazy. Yeah, I, you didn't get a slot. I mean, I you probably, yeah, slot you, you, you should have. It's cool. Mm, yeah. See. So okay. I, it's because you know why. It's because maybe you should make a mixtape. It's because I was doing stuff. It's because I was doing other. It's stuff. life. It, it, it really bounces back to life and, and and the balance of life and music. And if and if you're focused on these other certain things right now, you can't really. Give it your hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, like having a here. roof over your head and something yeah. to drive and nah, something to bro, eat. It's just like you know, like look. At if the you're time, not getting paid, if you're not actively putting gotta out keep rocking music this, right I gotta now, go. if you're not actively putting out music right now, then what makes the person who's actively trying to make money off of people who's actively making music right now pick you? Like, I need a person who's popping right now to be in my club. Why the fuck am I gonna pick a guy who hasn't had a song out? In who a year? doesn't have a song out? You don't have a song out in a year. You're, you don't have an album. You don't have a mixtape. You're you're cool. 
you're a cool guy, but but nigga, that's not what's gonna bring people in my club. This is business. You know what I'm saying? It's business. At the end of the day, we it's not working business. off. Of, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're not working off a of talent. Yeah, that's what the motherfucker said. Uh, that's what they said. I think it was who Antonio Brown. He was. Oh, I wasn't mad about the Steelers letting me go or the Patriots letting me go because at the end of the day, this is business. Yeah, they want somebody. Yeah. They want to pay somebody to perform, and us as athletes, we want to get paid. So this is a business, and we negotiate business. Oh God, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to take care of your business, and if it if it works out, it works out. If it don't, it don't. You can't Shit. be mad. Like I would love to do hella more shows, but I'm not gonna ask these people to just pick me because there's people who's out here actively who's working out here harder in than the me. Mix, huh? You out here working harder than me. I'm not about to steal your shine. If you got a tape or you got a project that's been out and you out here working, that's what you put your time into. I'm not about to be like, "Why you didn't pick me, nigga?" cuz I've been out here trying to be a driver. I've been doing other you things. Yeah, I've been doing other things. You know what I'm saying? I've been out here to, you know I'm mean? like, "Why you didn't pick him?" And I ain't even yeah, seen him. No. You know, I ain't seen him in, in a couple months. Like I thought, you know, you know who I seen every day though. This MC, guy, MC yep. fucking pop shot. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know what I mean? Whoever the fuck. Handle you know your I mean? business or your business will handle Damn. you. That's yeah, what you. pop said. Hey, man, come on, man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not very you difficult. Better, it's not very. It's not hard at all. It's not very difficult. I was talking to my relative. It's not about understanding. It's about acceptance. Ooh, shout out to the rally. I man, hear you. you feel me? Like, we, 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 we be going deep, man. It's a whole lot of true shit. Everybody mm. that's in the house is in the house for a reason. Everybody's in the circle in the circle for a reason. Let me, let me ask you that. Who's who's inside of your house? Who's that's in only house? in the house yeah. knowledge. We talking about house business? Yeah, that's house business. We talking about house business? Ain't your mama ever told you okay, not to okay. be talking everybody, about what's going on in this house right, outside? Man, look, y'all bless, y'all bless with the creation. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's a foundation. Me and Twin Foundation. Me and Loner Luke Foundation. Me and Loner Luke Foundation of the true house. Okay. Um, everybody else that's allowed inside of it, you know, uh, the, the homie black involved. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing changed. Black. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like a, not black with the, not not y'all black. Not the other not the other not black. Andre Williams? No, not not oh see, because it's the, three. The other not, black. Not the uh, not Jesus the uh Christ. not the other black. The dirty yeah. hustle. Not the dirty hustle black. Not okay. the uh not the Andre black. Jesus. But the ain't nothing changed black, the promoter. My bro. Uh okay. ain't nothing changed black. Um you know what I'm saying? Man, uh, my, bro, my, my, bro Shirt, my bro, my yeah. bro, yeah, my bro, Shirt in the house. Uh, you know, my bro, Eastside, my bro, Eastside in the house. You know, A one, Avery, Eastside, yeah, shout out to Avery, yeah, Eastside, Avery in yeah, the house, yeah, for sure, man. Eastside you know Avery. what I mean? He's and, good people, um, is he? You yeah, know, he's all right. yeah, most definitely, man. And um, uh, my little bro Mario in the house. You know, Rio, he in the house. Okay. So um, and that's and that's all family. You know, everybody who's, you know, connected to them, you see what I'm saying, families, wives, kids, you know what I'm saying? We all in the house. I treat it like a household. So where do you record music now? Huh? Where do you record music? Shit, I, um, I can record in the crib. Do you, do you prefer to. to perform at home? I do not re- prefer to record at home because I don't have all of that to, to 100% T. Like I said, it's it's as much as you, put, you get what you put into it. Is it, in, is it important for you to hear your audio quality back as an artist, like because I I, I spend a lot of time. Um, it is doing it all myself, recording myself, and, and it it's takes like you a lot longer, don't it? Being being the artist and being in the booth, recording myself, and then sitting over here back at the table and doing all this this back that's, end. That's too much for I haven't I haven't. Uh, it really t- it it really took me away from from the creative. Yeah, I haven't of opened up my mind to that part of it. I'm not. That's not my creative. I wouldn't suggest it. I really would. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm really do. into the creative part of it more than I am the engineering part because it's an art. It's the artist. It's the, I'm an artist for me. Like I really just really I could I could record a hundred songs and play them for me. Right. That you know brings what I'm me back to Phil Jackson. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. D- give the ball to Kobe and let him score. Let him. You get the rebound. All of you play some defense. Yeah. You make sure that Kobe gets the ball. Right. <laughs> you know. What I'm so we're just yeah. making sure we're just making sure that it, it, it that the that the situation goes the way that I yeah. want it to go. Nobody Pretty made much. a million dollars by themselves. <laughs> Yeah, so like, hey, yeah, there's people that play certain roles in in, in my success, mm-hmm. and I know that I play the main role because mm-hmm. ain't Naturally. nobody ain't nobody finna uh ain't nobody you finna really go harder. You can't do without a team though. You can't. True, do I learned that. I learned that. I but really they need did. to know that this is a team and that they, I'm but motherfucking they need to know, Kobe. But, to, but you need to know that it's team that it's team Kobe. It's team. Kobe. You need to know that it's team reader. 
Yeah. You need to know that it's team true. Cause if you not, then you think it's team you and them 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 uh them moves that you making aren't for the greater good anymore. Uh, yeah. Well these and it's, it's hard. It's hard <laughs> to find <laughs> Hey look, we're gonna keep it funky. We're gonna keep it funky. It's hard to find a group of people without egos. Yeah, mm. you're right. Yeah. You can't have a bunch of motherfuckers agendas. that's like, hey, look, look, this guy right here. This nigga that's going to get all the money. Okay. You not going to get as much money as him. You not going to get as much money as him. I'm not going to get as much money as him. So, nigga, you got to take the luggage. Word. You got to make sure this nigga wake up on time. Yeah. Okay. I got to be the nigga that make sure he eat every day. You make sure that nigga don't get got. <laughs> Look. Hey, yeah. yeah. hey, hey, hey. And, and Big Thomas and them, uh -huh. you know what your job is. Mm -hmm. yeah. You hear me? Yeah. Look, now, as a collective unit, we are MC such and such. That's why yeah. they say Phil it's the Jackson. Brand name. That's how it goes. But it's not like that. That's though. why they say Phil Jackson was so great because he could always take so many huge personalities and make them fit into the team role that they needed to be. Like Dennis Rodman was a huge personality. Scottie Pippen hey, is a huge hey, personality. But, the, but I bet yeah. you, it, but people still, people are still amazed at how that man could not have scored no points and celebrate at the end of the game for having, hey. having all them rebounds. <laughs> all them rebounds. They, they don't be like, but he didn't do shit. You know what he, you Guess know what what he did? did? Guess what he did, though? Hey, huh. you, know, said, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give you fifteen million dollars a year, and uh, you're the reason we won this championship. Because if if we don't have the ball, because you got the rebound, Michael can't score. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Shit, shit, Scotty. If you didn't play any defense, then we don't get the ball back, and they're just running up the score. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, I don't understand why people always feel like. Well, if I didn't do this, then it wouldn't be. It's ego, bro, because they're not looking at the greater good. They want to do their own thing. Well, I'd be like, if you want well, to do, do it, go do that. But you know what I'm saying? It's the confidence. They, they, it's, the, it's, it's ego, bro. Get to get ego. It's ego. I guess I ain't never had that. It's ego, man. I ain't never had that. It's yeah. always been like, man, come on, man, shoot. I'm a force playing football. I'm a, I'm a good after this quarterback. I'm going to force him your way so you haul ass so you and get out there and get score, you a sack. Score yeah. for the team. Or I'm going to get up. Man, the homeboy just told me the team. other week. He was like, man, I can't wait for the adult football league to start back up because you always looking to knock somebody head off. Nigga, it's kickoff return. If I knock somebody head off, that might be the block you need to get to where you going. Score, yeah. <laughs> score for yeah. the team. Score, score for, the, for team. the team. You know what? Seven on the board. I'm not carrying the ball. Thank you. So seven <laughs> on the board for you means seven on the board for me. For sure. <laughs> say, are you still the champion? If you ain't playing no minutes. Hell yeah. In the championship. Hell yeah, because I sat there doing this. Come on, y'all. Good job, y'all. Hell yeah. Y'all yeah. did good. Come on, we got yeah, to get back out here. We got to do it. Hell yeah, That's everybody. solid. That's hey, dope, you know baby. how many people would disagree? It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. The people it's who crazy. disagree is the ones who can't hit a shot in the motherfucking 10-foot I feel ring. like it'd be the people that would not sacrifice themselves Flip for that CD team. over, reader. That yeah. motherfucker's sticky. It bothered my fucking ears. <laughs> <laughs> I keep all hearing this, it. All this noise going on in here. You keep on hearing it. Then I got to look at all these features. No, oh, man. Here. It's all right. I mean, I'm, just, right. I'm just going to say, you know what I'm saying? The, the album is cool. I got it in my deck now. I play it every now and then when I'm way to work. But I'm going to say the Nick homie is on there a lot. You got 11 on there. Me, That's the bro. And six of them got the homie you on. You got stacks on there. That's fire. You got trigger and you got frost on there. That's fire. <laughs> you got trigger, yeah. you got frost, and yeah, that's hey, fire. I'm, uh, <laughs> you ain't got no reader on there, man. I, I didn't have no reader. I got. I fucked with everybody that made it. That made this project. If, bro. If, it's if, a long time it, coming, the, man. Really there's only two people I, I wish was on the project that I didn't have room for. I had enough songs. I and that over there in the corner, mm -hmm. when I was promoting for that, mm -hmm. that is essentially what that is right there. That Maldon massacre is exact. Wow. The only song on there that, that wasn't already had a beat picked out and the hook written for it was uh, uh, Walk My Choppa. Or wow. Walk This Choppa. Walk this All Choppa. those? That's my favorite song. Were that? That's my now, favorite song had, on the uh, whole album. <laughs> I had a lot of distractions in my life at that time. I invited too many people around 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 my immediate circle. Yeah, right? you should sure be distracted from making that happen when. That's 2015. That was the project. That was, that was the that was the one. I, I had, that was 2015. I had, I had all that ready. 
I had all that oh ready. Oh my god! No verses. No verses for eighty five percent of that. Right. Just beat the hook. Just ready. But it's ready. Yeah. I See, now I met Rock. I, I, I met ready. Rock in two thousand fourteen, but I ain't start fucking with him tough until like two thousand, the middle of two thousand fifteen. And every day I come over to the crib and see this thing, I'd be like, when you going to get the studio up and popping? When you going to get it jumping? What you going to do? And he'd be like, oh, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just, Damn. I'd be like, when you going to get it jumping? Again? We can go out there right now and throw something. You know, I ain't no rapper, but I get on here. Hey, and throw man, you know, I, go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I go crazy one time, though. Yeah, he was I like, know, yeah, right. we'll do something. And then slowly he integrated to it. Nigga got locked up, caught a case, come back. This thing is all, here's my album. I said, oh, hell. Oh, bro. yeah. Oh, yeah. Some bullshit, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't mad though. I was glad to see my homie in his element. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It felt good, you know. After um, uh, five years, six years, uh, yeah, of me making any and, and any music at all, it, it felt good that it was a uh, it was an outlet. It was an outlet that it was needed to release some kind of energy I had inside of right. my body for so long. It's that expression. That I had bro. no way to let it go, and and it went. So um, the, the five together. to seven thousand dollars I spent on that album worth it. So yeah. as an artist, just is by a, getting that shit off, is one of your verses worth a hundred dollars? My verses yes. is worth at least at least a hundred dollars. Yeah, if no, I not even at least a hundred dollars, bro. Like uh, performances, I'm trying. Not to a like, performance, a verse. Yeah. So a verse, a verse, a verse. I would say two fifty, at least. Yeah, just, at the minimum, huh? Just 250? for love, just for love. I'm only. I won't even go harder than that because I'm not pushing myself to go to be the hardest artist. But I do take pride in my craft. You're not gonna have me at least not being able to. All right, for studio all right. Now time. listen, you gotta at least got it. You no, got. Well, I'm saying I own the studio. I own the recording equipment. I own everything. Right, I just want you. I want to pay you a hundred dollars to come in and do this thing that I'm doing for all Alaska rappers. I want them to all to get on the track, and I'm collabing basically. And I'm gonna give you. So every he can't pay 13, in, 13 okay, rappers a hundred bucks. Hundred dollars. That's fine. That's fine because I fuck with you, and you let me know like that if that's your approach, and that's how you. Yeah, that's it's what a I'm case by case basis. If it's a situation, my verses can my verses are worth way more than that. Naturally, naturally. But at the yeah. end of the day, what As I'm taking, what so. I'm taking for my verses is my business. So if I fuck with you and you say, "Hey, you know what I'm saying? I give you a hundred dollars if you come down here and drop a little sixteen from for this project I got going on." Hell yeah, I do that because I fuck with you. At the end of the day, it's gonna be more than me just dropping this verse. I'm gonna sit up there. The publicity. Yeah, it's gonna be a whole lot. Just like you this year, I mean? just like this. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, we cooling. <laughs> we cooling. It's not just. It don't gotta always be super now, business. Now I've cool. had uh, I've had Pastor. Troy come to my Section 8 apartment when I was on the east side. Righteous. And uh, he, he did three verses for three different people who paid paid him $500 a piece. That's it, huh, for Pastor Troy? Pastor Troy, when That's he's crazy. in your city, he'll charge you 500 bucks for a verse. If you want a feature, he'll knock it out. That's dope. Now, now he he came, he showed up at the studio, I gave him a pad like this, he he wrote this shit out. Right there. Bro, I, I, I still got him. Uh, That's I still dope. Got and another artist in my city paid five hundred bucks for the verse to do it. So I'm uh, I'm two fifty. I think as a, as a local artist is steep. I'd say at least, at least but at least a hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm just saying it's, that because it, I've been I'm thinking, saying, bro, two fifty for a local artist is steep. Well, I mean, if, if we lo- we doing local things with a local name, yeah, local things then, for a local. I mean, how, how maybe serious? not for. For you, because of your exposure, and I and I know where you yeah, sit and where you be yeah, and where I you. Mean, that's I, cool. I know the amount of work you've done. So, so you saying two fifty? Okay, I I understand that. I will give I will give them that. That's what I give them for. You know what I'm saying? Before, but, but you know, without going too crazy but for the mixtape verse. For without going but too crazy. Does far that also as my depend on if go, you like the beat? No, I don't. It, uh, it's your song, bro. I'm, I ga- I'm it, gassing whatever. So I can send you any beat. I'm whatever, gassing and whatever. You're make it happen. So you tell, I would, let me rephrase hey, look, and hold say, on. I, see, look, I can't do that, bro. Look, nah, see, look. I can't okay, do so any look, beat. If you, if I you call give it a me mixtape verse. If you give me a song, you say, hey, I want you to do the song with me. I'll be like, let me hear what it is. And you send me some fucking bubblegum bullshit. I'll be like, nah, bro. I'm not going to do that. Okay. But you're I like, I got five hundred. I got. He's like, yeah. He's like, he's like, yo, I got five hundred dollars for your verse. I'll be like, all right. For five, yeah, definitely. I'd make all right, cool. I'll write something. I'll give you some. I can write. I can can really write to anything. I can really do this, but I mean, really, I'm about to make this shit slap as hard as I can because I don't want this whack ass song to be out here. Word and my name. And then my name on it. Name on it. Yeah. If anything, if you put my name on it, I'm the reason why it's slapping. 
So what I'm thinking is I'm thinking of doing a, I ain't even talked to my co-host about it, but a plug house collab. I'm on it. I'm thinking of, okay, oh, so what, I give you $100 and you come and spit a verse and I want to do, a, I don't know, 16 songs, 15 songs. I got to do 16 all, songs for $100? No. I was like, nah. <laughs> all, local, all local artists, you might do one I'm in verse there. for 16. I'm one, in there. Or two verses if, that it, $200. I got $100 you. A verse. I, I got you. Yeah, if we put out a If we, if we locking that in right now. Hey, hey lock, lock, it in, lock it in right now. You got me a $100 verse. $100 verse you got me we locked in whoa whoa let's go whoa. Boom. that's it whatever you want <laughs> i got you hey everybody else that ain't you mm. yesterday's yesterday's price ain't today's price hey. motherfucker. Hey, yeah. right, so don't be talking about another man's bag talking about yeah. yours yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mind the I've business that minds you i'm like okay how is it and mind you this is all going to be something straight for you because i'm not looking to make no profit it, off of it exactly I'm making the it's Push all publicity, you know there. what I'm saying? Like like we did when we did that, uh, you know what I'm saying? The deadliest, the deadliest sixteens. Oh, it wasn't for it wasn't it wasn't yeah. for yeah. shit. It Free wasn't for no, yeah. It yeah. wasn't yeah. It wasn't for it wasn't for no money. It was for me to know to who get he, out here to know who he was to know who he knew and for whoever wanted to hear Jay Reader rap some dope ass shit right now. Yeah, see, like for Do a you, big nigga like myself, it was a potluck. You feel me? That's Damn. all it is. Do you and feel I, it, it's important for? For people to know, uh, the, for the other rappers who are active in the city to know who you are, absolutely. Uh, yeah, and if they don't know me, then I don't fuck with them. Yeah, yeah because that means they're be not like, paying well, attention. Who are you? Do you feel like it, if you don't, if you, if someone says, "Hey, do you know so and so?" and if you don't know that name, do you feel like they're not active? Um, in certain capacities, I'm not even going to lie. But then I have to look at myself and be like, "How active am I?" You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm always. I always strive to be humble. I can't say that I'm humble because that's not being humble. I. I'm always striving to be as humble as I can be. So I know where my place is. And if somebody say, "Oh, do you know what you whoop?" Now nah, I don't know who that is. Let me know who that is. Put me up on some game, and then I'll do. I'll be the judge myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whether I fuck with him or not, you know what I'm saying. At the end of the day, if he's out here moving, if You'll I see him that naturally, he got, yeah, I will see him. Naturally. I will definitely see him. This motherfucker he'll, he'll, will he'll pop, pop up in your news feed. Yeah, he will pop sure. up, and you know, even though I'm trying to limit my screen time, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I still, I, I see who's active, and even, and that's crazy because me limiting screen time. If I still see you, that means you over. Yeah, <laughs> you sound like an OG. You yeah. ain't active no more, young yeah. nigga. Yeah, he's, been, he, <laughs> he's just been around for a while. So no, I mean, because I, you know, you know, know what it really stomach. is. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can act like you're doing a certain amount of certain amount of things, and, things, and but it's nigga, not... you're lying to you. Yeah, you're yeah. not lying to them. You're lying to you. They don't give a, you're they lying don't give to a, they you. Don't, they do not give. They do not give a fuck, bro. They do not care about your lies. Yeah, mm. them lies is pacifying you, bro. So the the quicker you realize that you are over here, you know what I'm saying, fucking yeah. yourself, selling wolf tickets, man. Ooh. You are, yeah, you 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 be better off doing what you know is real. To yeah. thine own what you self know is true. Do you feel true. me? Uh. What, what, what mama said yeah. To thine own self Be true baby <laughs> So um, when you first started uh, Being active uh, Physically in the community And you can think of all those names that, 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 that you could think of How many are active now? We're talking what, like almost ten years? Man, nah, nah, I mean, shit. I mean, you've been active on, for almost ten what? years on, now huh? on TikTok. No, no, I mean, I'm talking like, about I mean, I'm actively, like, physically, actively in the outside in you the know, game, making rap songs like that. In real life, I can't even. I, I ain't, I ain't seen them. I ain't seen them. Activists, the motherfuckers that I was interested in. That's so sorry. When I first started, you know who it was. They ain't there. You here? Barely, uh, I'm not, here, I'm not really barely. And this is not even. And yeah, so at the so end of the day, no, loud. no. At the end of the day, we we gonna keep it funky. He not yeah. active. I'm not. not, not he might I'm not, not be active. active. He got a different lane. See, yeah. just see, like we me. Just no, like we, we not. Be. We not gonna. Yeah, we not gonna downplay your activity. Cool. We gonna That's put you. To we gonna put you in a different lane. Just what I wanted to hear. At the end of the day, just like an OG. Just because he ain't out there knocking out niggas, robbing and shooting niggas, don't mean he don't got the game. Don't mean he ain't telling niggas where to go. You feel me? You directed now. You a supervisor. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know what I mean. He doing his thing. <laughs> he doing his. He's doing his thing. He found another lane to where he could be successful and do whatever thing, whatever else. Because you can't is. be a soldier forever, man. No, you gonna die. You. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, you gonna die. That's what that's what that's for. Yeah, you're, you're gonna on the die main line, and you die. You're on the main it. line, and, yeah. and, and and if you don't die, you get promoted. You get promoted, and you move up. Yeah. yeah. And so you there's, no, there's no soldier forever. <laughs> there's no soldier forever, nigga. Nah, ain't no nah. I'm still this. Yeah. yeah. What they got? Eat what they got? Letters and shit. They be like, mm-hmm. you still an A one? Yeah. I'll be like, yeah. nah. You mean to tell me you still an E one? You still an E one, nigga? <laughs> No. You've been in the military for 10 years. You still an E1. How you been a private forever? He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm about to get married. Yeah, yo, get I'm the- retiring at private first class. Yeah. Yeah. That's not enough, bro. My boy can't do more than 70 push-ups at one time. He's still fucked up. But he hey, getting married. you 20 years. Yeah. Hey, they let him be where he's supposed to be. He E1, he E1 going on retirement. He E1 about to retire. <laughs> The army love you. Oh, that's possible, dog. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, hey, hey, my boy know how to work that mop, bro. He, yeah. hey, hey, yo, he the coldest mopper, bro. I'm telling you right now, planet, he, baby. he filed paperwork with the best of them. My boy said, yeah. <laughs> nah, man, that give him a little bit too much clearance, man. You got to know people' names and addresses and shit. Now, you E1 still, bro, you got that broom on lock, yeah, bro. Yeah, lock, huh? You got that broom down pat. He Give it like, to Richard. He'll clean it up. Yeah. About, hey, look, they thinking about promoting him. He like, oh no, 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 no. What for? No, um, why? We gonna so write I can this leave out. My broom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want me to be responsible for more shit? No, 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 sir. You know, I take pride in my uh, efficiency. Oh my God! Stop <laughs> it out loud right now to my face. Nah, yeah. bro, nah. All right, nah, man, for real though. Uh, 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 you gotta be active in it. You gotta be active in it, man. So at the end of the day, like you're not you're not gonna be sitting up here act asking for more than what you're giving as far as feature prices. And as far as a uh, person being in the community rapping, I if I don't see you, bro, you you're not doing it. How much work do you think someone has to put in before they can ask for some money for their for their verses? Because mm. if you're trash, I'm not paying you. Obviously. Yeah. But, but, okay, hey, but trash doesn't mean anything now. But that's a personal if, opinion. If, if somebody so, yeah, yeah, don't pay him, nothing. if somebody don't reached, pay him, if somebody reached out to you through through whatever social media platform and said, "Hey, I would I would like to pay you for a verse on my project." Okay, stop it. What what's the, the what's the deal? Stop it. What are the stipulations? What do you mean? What is I got how much money gonna, you got? I'm gonna send it to you. How much money you got? <laughs> That's funny because I'm. That's thinking, question number you one. Have, you better have a pound but, of weed but, and but, a big booty but, hoe in the studio. I'm not. I'm not talking like you're Snoop Dogg or nothing. I'm not, no, as a local so, artist, local artist, some guy in my DM. Hey, no bro. Name, no hey, bro. Name. I don't know you. Your name is MC Slide and Grind. Right. Sl- slide and Whatever. Glide. But he slip sees, it. Slip and slide. He sees you out here. MC, <laughs> MC Mac, MC For sure. Mac Chopper. For, if, no. whatever, whatever. MC wow. Mac, hey, MC whether, Mac Chopper. Whether he got his I name like figured choppers. out or not. Yeah, MC he, Mac Chopper, he won a verse from Jay up, Reader. He yeah, said, hey. I like what you're doing. I follow you. I'm a fan. Yada, yada, whoop de woo Doing things in the, in the community. Like 250. That. You got to say it like, hey, my 250. Nigga, I feel what you're doing out 250. there. You're doing yeah. that fire. I'm out, out there, here. And I got that, you know what I'm saying? I'll I got get the head 250. And on my track, bro. 250. I respect that. I'm out here. 250. I respect that. What you got? 250. I respect that. You got it? You know, that's funny because I will go and look at niggas. I will go and look at niggas' uh, songs and stuff and yep. listen to it. Yep. And if he can't pay that, I'd be like, you fool gays. You bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Nigga, I'm yeah. not asking you for a lot. Huh. Yeah. I'm not out his asking stacks. you uh, for a lot. In the You're club. super trapping. Yeah. You got all the whores. You. You got and they're the paying horse. you. You, you got, got the, all the brickathons. So are, I'm going to need some money. So are you telling me that... All that money that you, you threw in that video you, was movie notes. You yeah. can't pay an ounce of weed for this motherfucking verse. And a, right. And it's an ounce of dispensary weed. So you know it's expensive. You know it's expensive. So it's, <laughs> I want some good. I want some 25 plus percentage. Yeah. You feel me? I'm going to need 25 plus percentage, bro. Somebody get my dude. Yeah. Bro, stop playing with me, man. <laughs> Yeah. It's a oh, shame. Shoot, you sound like pops. You better find you something to play with because I ain't the one boy. Yeah, we oh, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I've had people in my um in my inbox um quite a few times over the years about, hey, I'm fucking I'm, I'm dope as fuck. Um can I get some <laughs> Can I get some free studio time? What do you oh, say to that? Free studio time? Ain't shit I'm re- freed out here. I'm really I'm I'm really yeah, dope. I promise you I'm worth it. I'm not even an I mean, artist. I know. 
Uh, Jay Reader doesn't run no studio. I don't run a studio. But I'm for, not even an artist, public. bro. And you know what I'm saying? I'm a straight nigga, though, and I'd be like, man, ain't shit free out here. So the fact that you coming off rip talking about could I get something for free yeah, sounds yeah, sucker to me. Yeah, you out of pocket, bro. Yeah. You out of pocket. You out of pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Especially, and then I would go back and listen to whatever you rapping about, and unless you on that Drake shit... Because he don't rap about kicking doors and fucking hoes and doing all this. He just rap about chilling. Regular shit. Yeah, chilling. Yeah, just, chilling. just yeah. having a good So if you rap about anything yeah, other than that, that, I'd be like, man, you got the bread. Don't you ask me that. Way, you, right. got it. you know you got it. That is not an invitation for you Drake rappers to come out here and ask for, uh, for, for fucking free studio Look, time. At the end of the day, if you want to make some money, you, you got to be present in the, you know what I'm saying, in, in the area of, so, the, of your expertise. So do you think that do you think that people who are pushed by the dollar as opposed to pushed by the love of the craft and having fun are more apt to succeeding? It it all really uh, really depends on their drive on on how well they want to uh, how much, achieve their goal and and where their goal is actually generated. Because so so you're saying at some point the guy who's having fun or whatever plateaus I'm and saying the that, guy who's pushing to drive on ambitious pushes on I'm, I'm saying that um it, even well, that, me, that could be true even though me and reader are making music our goals are our end goal are are, are, are totally two, two different two different things true. true as opposed to the guy sitting over there shit I'm Correct. in the studio today blood yeah <laughs> all of that hey, if that's all what he want to do if that's what he want to spend his time on if, if that's you know I, I will uh what I've kind of realized after all the... I was trying to catch you up on that. Good job. All these shows I've been to, all these shows I've done, what I've realized is 85% of the people out here want to put their shades on, drink a couple drinks, get on stage, and feel like they're Drake. And feel like... <laughs> hey, bro, if that's what you're into, then that's bro, what you into. <laughs> real shit, though. But, I mean, I mean, from what I've seen, that's what majority of people want because that's as far as they want. I, uh, I, yes, I I've seen um, other people that I've messed with Make a project. I push them to put it on a, 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 a right. onto a mixtape. Have a hard copy, and then you're looking at 300 hard copies sitting sitting and dying in their back seat. Yeah, they not doing nothing, bro. It don't I matter. I would never. I I could never. Yeah, I could never. It's just not that dying shit, right bro. here. That's it's not just gotta cool, go. Bro. Not right here. That shit cool. That's it's shit gotta not go cool, wherever. Bro. You playing yourself? Absolutely. Absolutely. You playing it's yourself, like, bro. It's, it's like t- it take a real it take a real nigga to be honest with himself, bro. Like, at the end of the day, you got to be a whole person and be honest with yourself. Like, look, if this is what you went into because this is something that brings joy to your life, then say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, like, I, I stopped trying to act like, like, oh, bro, yeah, I'm about to be the biggest, dopest rapper in the whole fucking world. Now, if the, if the opportunity presents itself I'm and, and I feel like I can take them steps, yeah, then I'm going to do that. Yeah. But if not, then I'm going to take what I can take from it and move along with with my life. Wrong. You know what I'm saying? Everybody life ain't everybody life. Well, you know what I'm no. saying? It's niggas that's meant you got a purpose. Everybody have a purpose. And people be distracted thinking that other people's purpose be their purpose. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you be fucking fucked off five years down the line following another <laughs> yeah. trend. And now you fucked up because you were supposed to be the guy who Th- says did hi this. to people. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. mom said that. My mom said that when I was younger, she'd be like, "Honey, don't make sh- make sure that you are doing what you are supposed to do and not what you want to do, because not necessarily what you want to do might not be what you're supposed to do, mm. and what you're supposed to do might be what somebody else wants you to do." Yeah. I, I get Most that. Definitely. I yeah. I that. was. I didn't understand it till a nigga hit thirty five, and I was like. Man, these niggas want me out here to beat niggas up and say, oh, yeah. I'm better than you, that. Yeah. You don't got to do that. Yeah. You don't have to do that. Until my homeboy was like, he said, you know what, man? Shoot, you could deal with this person and these people and the, you're a people person. You make people who are not from where you from and other people are from feel like, hey, I'll go over there and hang out with them just because of this guy. Right. Yeah, because you know what I'm saying? You the catalyst for some brand new ideas. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You, you never know who's around you. You ne- you never want to be closed minded, man. Never. You never want to be closed minded. I'll never want to stop learning. I'll never want to be that guy 
That sounds I'll like fuck with those idiot. guys because yeah. you know he's he got a, he's got a Pittsburgh hat. I don't fuck with people who like yeah. Pittsburgh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Small this guy he oh over here, he, he he do the whoop de whoop. I ain't fucking with him because he wear blue. Yeah, what? And you see, and you see, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like coming up in California. Even show more so. show me that even more show so me that there's there's not a difference between the nigga with the red shirt and nigga with the blue shirt. No, it really ain't. That man got a mind. He got a mind. At the end of the day, he might could tell me something that I don't know. Bro, and it's fucked up that we got to separate ourselves. Man, look. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on, dog. Yeah, it my go, brother go, put me up it on go, that. It go, it, go, it go way deeper. And you know it's what I'm saying? It's way deeper my than that. that go to the pen, they got to learn a different lesson. They Say something. You see what I'm saying? They got to learn a different lesson. Like, hey, look, I know you said this and this and that when you was over there. But today, we in here, and it's we us. We like this. <laughs> yeah. And it's us. It's us right and now. it's them. So I, I don't know. I know so I fucked your bitch. It's, it's not about where you. It's not about where you from. It's literally about where you yeah. at. Mm-hmm. And, and the mentality that you got. That's too funny. Cause nigga be like, oh nigga, I'm from here. Yeah, nigga, cool. this Alaska. Don't nobody care cool, where you bro. from. Yeah, you from South Central. Whoop de whoop. How many niggas you got with you? None. Oh, it's just you. Oh, oh, my. oh, hey, oh hey, hey, sh- <laughs> hey, shut that shit up, nigga. <laughs> Shake that shit at the don't door, nobody, homie. Don't yeah. nobody give a fuck about where you from, nigga. Huh. Look, at the end of the day, it is where what it at. is. It yeah. is what it is. How much work did you put in where you are? How much of a man are you where you are? Where you right are. Now? Yeah. Not where you was. How much have you done for the right place now. where you are right now? Because if they don't know you where you at, Oh, bro, hey, you a victim. Oh, my. Hey, it's sharks and minnow, and you better decide which one you is. <laughs> he said you keep talking about you could do this stuff, but you just can't do it, Nemo. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Like, you just you just can't. Shut up. You, can't, <laughs> you, you just can't you do just it. You just can't do it, Nemo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro, you just can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. Hey, that's you stupid. That it's shit like hard, that, bro. You can't do it. That's bro. one of my favorite movies. You he stupid. Goes, he said, bro, you just can't. Huh. He said right. he. <laughs> we just start so, talking about finding Nemo. We, yeah, <laughs> I, t- I told you I'm the one for podcasts. I'm about to be a nigga. Yeah, Y'all gonna shit, invite yeah. and like every three Smart months man. you got to be like reader coming. They gonna be like, oh shit. Huh, yeah, yeah, we didn't read. Oh, man, we right had to now. extend this shit. We we oh, we. we we had an hour and thirty five right now. We go. We gonna keep this rolling until we need to. Until we need to go. I need to I'll go. Let me know, man. Anyways, uh, back to I'm it. To uh, I, I was saying, uh, um, studio time, pay to play. Yeah. How much do you think if you if you, as an artist, you you've had it in it in, in a, a studio at home, you can record yourself, but not having to work uh, to to worry about the. Uh, back end of mixing and mastering and making the song sound a hundred percent. How much do you think studio time is worth? Okay. I so see a lot of, a lot time. of different people spend, spend yeah. different amounts of money. Uh, yeah, for an hour. Different amounts of money. Okay. So basically what you paying for in studio time, this is me. This is my opinion. This is what I think. Um, far as studio time, your studio time is only as good as your engineer. Right. Plain and simple. So you wouldn't go with a stranger. So at the end of the day, if it's a stranger danger, don't hit me with, oh, I'm going to charge you $1,000. Nigga, show me something. Show me something that's worth $1,000. If you are a person who's out here hustling, I got a studio, I got equipment, I know I can record you, and I can I know how to work Pro Tools, let me see how good you can work it. Okay. Let me see what you got. You checking your songs out. Yeah, I want to know. I want to know. Show me what you produce from where you are. Okay. And then we'll determine how much you're worth. Okay. And that should be fair. Right. Unless you're no unless you got notoriety. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're somebody who's actually you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, unless you're uh hey, look, come to Rob B studio. Unless yeah, you come yeah, to right. come, 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 come yeah. fuck with come if fuck, you fuck, rob come fuck with shoe, straight, you should Yeah, come fuck any. with shoestring studios. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Come, you know what I'm saying? If you if you if you got a situation to where it's like, Hey, come over here and fuck I don't know any other studios. Right. The, the, those you only, going only to, you going to you going to Raw or you going to shoestring? I mean, there's probably a hundred more motherfuckers that can record you, but who who do you know honestly? 
who can you guarantee is going to have you know, that back-end experience to, you feel me? Who to do deliver you know what you're looking say, for? Hey, look, yeah. <clears throat> where's the studio? Oh, yeah, you know, Jim and them got a studio yeah, over there. The off of, I, off, you know what I'm saying? Off of Peter can. Yeah. No, we're yeah. not going over there. We're not going to that room with, with 10 people in it and a little Fuck microphone no. in the closet. No, I wouldn't even no tell studio you. I wouldn't, phone, even no tell, I wouldn't even tell people that I got a studio just for the simple fact that I'm not an engineer. Mm-hmm. You need Smart if man. a studio, uh, if you got a studio, you need to be an engineer. See, well, when I uh, when I ran uh, Local 907, I made it public. Um, I had it a long time before I did it, where I would invite people into my house. But right. as soon as I made it public, I was like, I I can't mix these songs. I don't know how. Right. So I would tell everybody that came to my studio to record music. Hey, this is the guy that mixes this stuff. It'd be money. Right. Yeah. So you got a two person process. This is where you you got a three step go. process. You come here, you record. You fuck with me, I'm the guy that records it. But if you want anything after this, yep. you got to talk to this man. Yeah. And that's fair. Okay. That's fair as long as you're putting that out there. Yeah. It's not yeah. no hidden secrets. It's not no, no, oh, yeah, I'm the guy that's doing everything because I've had business with those guys, too. They're like, oh, yeah, I can record you. I'll record you. And then you want your shit mixed, I'll mix you. But it's going to cost this much. So when, it, 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 if somebody was going to record your song, you needed somewhere to go to mm. record your shit, what is the max? You're paying for studio time. Based upon how much you tell me a verse is worth from you. Me, myself, man, look, I'm going to keep it funky with you. Uh, fuck, I fuck with people. And then see, look, I got to be careful. All right, so. What look, is the what, most you're going to pay for? The most I would time? pay is as much as I would ask for. 250 an hour? It's going to take you longer and. Longer than an hour. To oh no! Hours. The way that I go to the studio, bro, I'm ready. So break it down. I'm giving you this so shit. So break it down. Hour. Hour. Okay, now okay. So an hour. Okay, so an hour. Um, shit, man. You know these guys are dollar a minute. Are you paying dollar a minute? A dollar a minute. I pay a dollar. Sixty minute. bucks. I pay a dollar a minute. Studio time. I pay a dollar a minute. That's not. That's yeah. fair. I've been charged more than a dollar a minute. Yeah. So you feel me? So you must I'm be like, good. yeah, do- yeah, I'm good. You must I'm, be good. I'm, I'm really like, good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If you want to spend a dollar a minute, I'll yeah, you can. I'm straight, bro. I'm good. <laughs> I'm fuck with I, that. I don't come to the studio to bullshit, bro. I'm like, yo, I gotta. I, oh, this is where yeah. I got. Look, I told you about how the elevation. Yeah. This is where I get to spend the money at. Yeah. I still like having money. Yeah. You feel me? So it's but like, still. look, if I gotta spend it. I got about this much. It's worth a dollar a minute. Yeah, it's worth a dollar yeah, a minute. Yeah, yeah. My because flow, I know, my time, I know, when I'm bringing the table. I know what I can get done in an hour. Yeah. Everybody don't got that. Everybody can't do that in an hour. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So look, at the end of the day, it's cool. So I go in there ready. I go in there beat ready. I go in there song ready. Song ready. Like, there. Like everything. There. The ad bro, I can, you can. Like you got it all mapped bro, out? You can ask the, bro, you can ask Lungs. Every time I go in there, he's like, bro, do you want to do it again? I'm like, nah. If I fuck up, start it from the gate. Like start it from the, start it from the beginning. Tra- trash it. Okay. Keep it just in case we need extra. Little, if you yep. need something for for engineer but it's situations. Not the, it's not the main but it's one not we're rapper going shit. Yeah. It's engineer shit. It's cut and paste. It's whatever you need to do to fix your shit. Yeah. My shit, I'm going straight through. I've been rapping this shit in the car, in the house, in the shower, everywhere I go for a week. I'm ready when I go. Hell yeah. I'm ready when I go. So if you fucking with me, I'm I'm in there. Yeah. I'm ready. Like you said, when I did that 16, yeah. it was done. Done. Ready to go. Fast. Yeah, like, like when, when you drop a song, you know you you know your verse and what you're going to drop for ad libs. No. That's what fucks me up. Really? I'm going to keep it honest. I'm going to keep it funky with you. You don't have your ad libs laid out my first? Ad-lib, no. No. It's all freestyle? Ad-libs, ad-libs come to me. Ad-libs come to me afterwards. I got to listen. Off, after off after rip, I rap the whole song, I can, the song could be done. The song could be fucking finished. And I'd be like, oh, this would be fire if I put this in there. After the song's done. Like, after after I do it initially, it could be like, when I'm I'm an, I'm definitely an artist that needs to have all of my songs together at the end and then give it to them to mix and fix. Right. So like, oh, do you like how this is right now? Yeah, but I wish I could do this. All right, well, let's do that right now before we put this whole situation out. How many uh, how many takes do you do before you are like, oh, it, it, it's good enough? Bro, I'm one and a half and done. I would say one and done, but sometimes I lose breath and I have to. They be wanting to punch it, me. It, if you feel it, you're like, oh, it, it wasn't good. It wasn't I'm, your best. I'm there, bro. Good. I'm in it, bro. 
I'm in it. As soon as the, you know, Freaky Bums is a three verse song. Okay. Freaky Bums is three verses. I shot that shit all the way through. It, it's it's solid all the way through too. By the way, it's solid all the way. Yeah, through. Yeah, I shot bar, that shit. I shot for that bar, shit all line the way for through, line, bro. How I heard it and how my how my brain works. Like I I spent a lot of time uh, as a youth being grounded and spending time at home and listening to the radio. So I know what a hit sounds like. Right. Actually, that that's what I feel. Yeah. No matter what kind of music you make or whatnot, we if I hear it. it is. I'm it gonna know sounds it's like it's good. This is this is gonna be good for and it's you. It's good to go. It's yeah. all it, it, it's got that kick and it goes and the gears go 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 all the way through the end of the verse wraps right into the hook. Yeah, most definitely. Mm. I mean, I'm just gonna say as a listener, I'll be feeling that shit. Man, yeah. look, I appreciate that, man, because you know what, guy, what what guides the underground artists, what fucks with the underground. Shout out to the underground. Yeah. Shout out to my brother. Oh, also, I I'll be a fool to not tell you that Cash Life is a part of the house. Okay. Cash life, cash life, cash life. For Stevens sure. is a part of the trail house. He's been grinding for really, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a and that's really my brother, time. man. And he been a part of this shit since this, yeah, since this rehab. Stop this a, it. This a rehab tattoo on my hand, and I got a rehab tattoo on me, and I got a trail house tattoo. You've on been, me re- now. you've been I rehabilitated. Been, I have been yeah. branded. I have been branded. I like this little puppy you got right here. Oh yeah, little Isabella man, she just oh, a little puppy. Oh man, too, all my yeah. partners so they want to they want to get into the puppy game. It's crazy. Oh, but tell them fucks with me, man. Shoot, because I was about to spare, but if I find some niggas who fuck with it, I want I, I, I want it off. My brother dog got a, a Caesar's ready to have but some, some puppies, but, but that's she's a, a pocket baby. though, so. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I have no idea about uh, none of that. The pocket is, is the that. mini is the mini version. Mm, so like right. a, a normal full grown one would probably be like 65, 70, 80 pounds. She only going to be 50. And she going to be he real short. He got a big ass, big head ass <laughs> pit bull, bro. She, a she's a bully. You know what I'm saying? I might let him go on and get some. You right? Didn't, you didn't you, hear me say that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, I... I I think we're gonna wrap this up and then Shit, we do might one more. Well, like Dave Chappelle. Do one more after this. Huh? this is part two. The, the, the food ain't here yet. Hey, bro, we can keep going, bro. Like I got a pedo and smoke a cigarette. Yeah, man, I got. Yeah. Do your thing, fam. We can yeah, do yeah, whatever, keep, man. Keep while I me and bro, yeah, me and bro. Know, he, he don't went to go get the dog. I'm shit. known for holding down the fort, homie. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You hey, remember you me at the crib with the Louisville Slugger? I'm, 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 I'm almost, I'm almost lit enough to leak something. Oh yeah. That's what we was just talking about. Maybe we should get him with the. Three I could minutes. um, um <laughs> I, I, I could uh, connect your phone Bluetooth to this so that it plays through the podcast. Is that fire? It is. It is, it is possible. So what you mm. want to do, man? Oh, I, I mean, don't... we won't hear it out here because we don't have to, we don't have the headphones on. It won't matter. But I could plug. You plug know the what I'm saying? In. This is a this is a situation, man. I definitely it appreciate it. All Not right, so a look. Situation. So we want. So but, you want to? Um, oh, think about that. But uh, I'm gonna go take a piss, smoke some of a cigarette. But I want you to tell him, tell Train, what are your some of your studio uh, recording studio pet peeves? Ooh, all right, all right. Break it I down do for that. him, okay? Big Train, Train and Reed. Call me though, shoot, shoot, Big shoot, train, man. man. Get on Big the ride train. or get off the track, baby. I feel you, man. So look, right, check it out. Yeah. Uh, my studio pet peeves is niggas that I didn't invite to the studio at the studio. I can understand that. As being a being a nigga who just uh I be coming to kick it and then you know what I'm saying my first experience was when I met when I met that nigga rock and motherfucker it was like four five dudes in there and it was this nigga sitting there in a motherfucking I call it the uh in a bucket hat. Yeah. He was in a bucket shit with okay. the camos on and shit and the nigga was like, I ain't rapping. And I'm thinking autom- off jump, I'm thinking Nigga, you came to the studio. Yeah, why, why you ain't here, rapping? Bro? Why you? What are you doing? Off rip. I'm on. I, I ain't talking no more. I ain't moving around. Yeah, now but I'm see, awkward. You an officer? But now, but after, <laughs> but after a, a few, after a few, few years around rock and you know other studio niggas, I'd be like that threw his vibe off because right. he didn't know me. I didn't know him, and I'm up in here in close quarters with him. Right. So. Now I'm like, oh, okay, I respect that nigga because he was like, shit, what he gonna rap for? He might not, he might say something, might set me off or or anything like that. See, and that's I don't the know type you. Of shit. Yeah, that's that's just you just gotta be aware of your environment, man. At the end of the day, you can't really just be inviting anybody to an uh an, into an environment that everybody's not aware of. That everybody is not aware of, and you know, it, as much as you like to, because my nigga Rock, man, he. He is a uh, what I like to call a cohesive piece. 
he is a piece of the puzzle that fits anywhere in the puzzle. Yes. So it's, just it's, because he vibe with this nigga don't mean that that nigga is going to vibe with you. Righteous. You ain't and lying. Especially since the nigga didn't turn 35. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really got, I ain't really got a lot of toleration for young disrespectful niggas. <laughs> Man, talk about it. I don't really have that. So maybe when I was like 25, 26, then it would be even worse. But now I'm like, okay, you respectful. I'm respectful. Everybody yeah, you cool. You have a certain level of uh, understanding. You can't just be, uh, I don't know, man. I can't even. You just can't, can't be saying call. certain yeah, things. You can't, I can't. I ain't even going to call no names out. Yeah, you, just, we ain't going to say no name. We just going to say you can't say certain things. Shout out to my big homie Cisco. That nigga locked up because he the one who told me. He was like, hey, look here, young nigga. You, gotta watch your you mouth, got your man. thing going on. I got my thing going on. But if ain't nobody disrespecting nobody, well, we good. We in the game. Huh. That's why I say sea monster. <laughs> I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't normally do this, but I figure I don't, I don't want to stop the podcast. So here's the food. We in hey, the game. I don't know why y'all playing with me like I don't. They feeding us. You don't see. It looks like the train needs more fuel. <laughs> ah, my boy said the train needs fuel. <laughs> What were you saying, uh, uh, studio, uh, studio pet peeves? He don't like when people is there. That... When people is there that you don't invite. Extra people. So studio, <laughs> uh, so studio pet peeves, man. Studio pet peeves. At the end of the day, is having people in the studio that you didn't invite, okay, or that you're not comfortable with being in your environment. Certain you know what I'm saying? things. Why the fuck is you here if you're not paying? Because I'm paying. This costs I, money. I paid I didn't for this. Invite you to be inside of the situation that I have. To distraction. Take. See, yeah, you're now a distraction. That, you're definitely an extra person that I didn't ask for. Now that so. goes to the the studio thing for me because they shouldn't have people. If you paid your time, you get all this area for X amount. Boom. Get it. You're good. You're good. Get it. We're munching. Yeah, we're yeah. rocking it. We're Hell yeah, auntie, game. do that damn thing. Shit, fuck, yep. them. fuck what they thought and fuck what yeah. they heard. Oh, Hell yeah, auntie. Whoa. You guys want the too, or you only want it that way? I'll have it. Is that cold? You, you bring some of that too, if you want. Is that cold? Yeah, we'll take some of that. Well, She's all looking at you. The, the, the <laughs> extra people... <laughs> the extra people in the studio is definitely a, a distraction. When I show up, I, I want me and whoever I bring. Mm-hmm. And I'm only bringing somebody who's going to be quiet... Not gonna be a distraction, and they're only there if they've got to do a verse or if they yeah, have if to be with song. me. If, 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 if they're with me in the car, and and it just happens during that time period, I need to be at the studio, and you're there. Be there. Be quiet. Okay, then, yeah. Fuck around on your phone. <laughs> yeah. Let me knock out what I got to do. You ain't never lied. The, this yeah, really ain't a party. Fuck up. Sit back. Yeah. Sit back. Shut up. And wait till we leave. I'm uh, I'm here to knock this out. That's usually when you don't buy females to the studio. Sure I, you know, I learned that early on too. It's like I, I used to uh, let everybody in the studio while I was doing my thing, and I, right. I'd make a little bit of progress, a little bit. You want to be popping, right? I make a little. Be, you want to be the man of your friends, right? I mean, yeah, you, you want that popping vibe though. The, the energy, the, 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 the energy is good. Yep. But at, in, in that same token, having that, that the extra person or persons in the studio could fuck up the environment the entire right. time. Depending and, on what energy and they're I'm, bringing, huh? And I'm here. I, I spent my time at home writing this verse, knocking it out. I'm here to to knock this shit out. You're here to work. I'm here to work. And you think it's going to be fun when you bring your friends, but you're actually there Working. to work. Working. You're here to work. Yeah. It's not really, it's I've not had really that. fun I've had party. That. I've had that. Um, uh, I, I became aware of that when it was a realization that, you know, everything ain't for your friends. Absolutely, right. you know, y'all supposed to be y'all 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 see the grand results of it. Yeah, when I'm all finished, y'all check out what I did. But y'all don't need to be a part of this. I really would like to show y'all a part of this, but at the end of the day, y'all being here is gonna alter the outcome. Absolutely. So go ahead on and do y'all thing. And when I'm finished, I'll show y'all what I did, and y'all gonna be proud of me like you would have been proud of me if you were still there. Like, if you were there, you fuck with me, you fuck with me. If you were there, yeah, yeah, like exactly. for me. It, it, I'm not a rapper, but if I was, I'm not gonna invite my I'm not gonna invite my homeboy GT to the studio. Why? He's not a rapper. Be, well, that nigga is rowdy. 
And I'm in here to do something. So you come to the studio, he gonna be like, hell yeah. Yeah, that shit right there. That shit had me going. It's yeah. extra. I'm gonna be like, come on, I man. I can't deal if with that, bro. you for that, I know who to bring. This is not a performance. It's this is a recording. 907 33. This is a recording. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I'm here to work and I'm not, not, not here for anything else. It's, it's costing me time. And money yeah. to be here. That's what's important. So it's it's really not a party. I think a lot of a lot of people have the miscon the misconception that okay, what they see on music videos and what people post and whatnot is what studio life is. Hey, that's niggas who's already there. Niggas that's who's niggas. already at they at the at the pinnacle of their game. They got hoes and drink and smoke and niggas and all this shit going on in there. But hey. A nigga trying to trying to make it happen. All that shit is a distraction. Hey, you remember when they used to have that thing on TV where they would just let you know how much everything costs? It was a show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was yeah. a show where they'd be like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna go do this," and be like, "This way, fucking water ski, just ski twenty five thousand." Yeah, yeah. Like if you could really put a price tag on all the shit that you see on TV, uh, you, it would really make life. Per, in a different perception You know what I'm saying Like oh yeah Those guys are kicking In the studio Having a great time Yeah Let's see that guy you know That's just pay? sitting right there Yeah He get paid $500 an hour To just sit, yeah, just sit, to there. sit there. right there So when these guys Are having fun Bullshitting Bullshitting you think it's life? For 6, 7, you 8 think, hours You think that shit is life This man He just made $1,500 He just made $2,500 And he cool He's chilling He cool uh, You think everybody's life Is just like this You think niggas (laughs) Just over here You think niggas Just over here Having a ball Man Watch how I make this rap One two Buckle my shoe And bitch You don't even know What to do They were like That was fire right He like Yup Yup Click click 2500 Yup Yup You do what you want to do Now and then on top of that, the people who's recording it. Woo! The camera crew to watch oh, you do yeah. all camera the shit. Crew, get the camera crew to watch you do one, two, a buckle my shoe. <laughs> Nigga, they got paid $2,500 an hour. You over here sitting up here. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm the coolest nigga to you. Yeah. One, two, bug my shoe. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> you broke your shit. I'm trying to recoup the money that you done paid this man. You done and paid this man. You done spent five thousand dollars on a on a kick out on on a kickback, man. <laughs> just somewhere now, to kick back. So and just so everybody who don't know your game can be like, oh man, I wish I was just like him. Yeah, I was in the studio with him. That nigga was lit, man. Get yeah, unbeknownst to you, that nigga he laid down a whole a whole album that, boy, that, that flopped. Yeah, that boy. Yeah, that boy paid ten racks for that scene. For the <laughs> for the scene. All right. Well, uh, with, with that being said, my next question is: uh, How do uh, how do what are the five things to make a good mixtape? Ooh, good five question. Five things to make a good mixtape. Five tape. things you need to make make a good mixtape. Lyrics. Mm-hmm. Ain't five things. It ain't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, need, you need some lyrics, marketing promotion behind promotion. that. Marketing, huh? Yep. Marketing. Promoting, promotion and marketing is the same thing. Pretty mm-hmm. much. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. We can agree so on that. So beats, lyrics, and promotion. And je ne sais pas. Like, I don't know. What the fuck? What are you? Good lyrics. Good lyrics. No. Beats, lyrics, and promotion, and... Charisma. Charisma. There you go. That's it. What if your beats ain't slapping? Then, that, then that's then not You better be making four. up for it okay. in, in yeah, another one. Not real one four. Heavy. You fucking suck. The beats got to be popping. If, your beat, beat, if your beats are trash, then your lyrics better be hard in the motherfucker. Okay. okay. That's how it got to be. And then oh, well, well, what percentage out of that 100% is due to marketing and promoting? How important mm. is that? Okay. Um, Fix that microphone. Aim that toward yourself. There we go. Promotion and marketing is very important because nobody cares if they don't know you. Mm. <laughs> I could be the dopest rapper in Anchorage, Alaska, but if nobody in Florida knows me, then who the fuck am I? Exactly. Boom. Yeah, who cares? Because we only got like a couple hundred thousand people, and if only 2% of them know you. What? Uh, um, <laughs> now, now, if I was the most popular rapper in Alaska, and everybody in California knew me, mm. Mm. that would be crazy. 
That'd be a different. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be a different could, outcome. Yeah, we'd be, be a different game. We yeah. all be wearing a chain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, but I mean, uh, uh, you, you said you don't really work on mixtapes, put them out. They're not really relevant in this game because you're trying to make a dollar. Right. So you wouldn't put out a mixtape. I mean, in this I don't, climate, I don't, I don't have an, I don't have that many beats. I'm not listening to other people's how, music as much to want to steal. How many mixtapes have you put out? Stop seeing stealing One. them. They're out there for it the is taking. stealing. <laughs> it's not it out for the stealing. <laughs> it is stealing. <laughs> it is stealing. Check game. If you made a whole beat from scratch, had a whole artist to rap on it, yeah, people fuck with you. Okay. Then out the blue, somebody MC such and such make a song off y'all song. Don't give you no credit. Ooh. And they shit start booming, bro. <laughs> okay. They shit start booming. Now you mad? But no, not, not, or no. not necessarily. <laughs> because if you're if your level of popularity is well above whatever that other person is. I don't mind them making a little money off my. What if it's a song. lot of money? Like what? Like a million dollars. Platinum. But they their right. album went platinum. Like everybody fucks with the momentum of your song so much that when somebody else comes to it with a legit amount of speed, they be like, "I heard they that can before. ride off your way." Now, if you see somebody riding off your way and they end up making a million dollars, you ain't gonna want no money? So if his single went platinum, basically. Off of your song? Honestly, or even gold? Honestly, I think it, it all really depends on how much money I'm making. Right. If I'm not hurting, all my shit's good, my life's fine, 100%, I don't feel no type of way, let them do their thing. I don't know, what does that take? How shit. the fuck did I get, how, how the fuck do you think I got here? I'm gonna have to sock it to his pocket. Where I got to where I got. If that man don't give me no money, we fighting. Yes. Oh, yeah, his sock it to his pocket. It's a problem. It's like that? It's a problem. It's like that. Y'all crazy. If you don't give me no respect for what the fuck I did, you steal it. You sitting here acting <laughs> like acting like you Damn, made it's the, like that? Yep. You sitting here acting like you made the world's Bro, best yeah, apple God, pie oh and you God. know you came by my house. Don't and, play, don't play with I don't me. I, I don't want no beats that you got on now. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, that's fine. That's fine, bro. It's it's cool. You can do what you want to do. But at the end of the day, don't act like Bro, you the man. Because like, okay. what's happening is that's initially what you're saying to the people. Like, yeah, this is all me. Yeah. I did all this. Right. If you don't be like, yeah, what? shout out to Reader or shout out to the producer even or shout out to anything that we got going on, we on your ass. But you're not responsible for the listener's perception of who they who they, who they know existed. But they I'm know. not dealing with the but listener. But they know. I'm dealing, I'm dealing with you. And you know. And yeah. I'm responsible. So if we, the artist, so if the art, so if the listener doesn't know, and somebody who don't fuck with me fucks with that person, and they make a song, and that and that song goes viral, right? And nobody knows that that's my song. I'm not gonna make a big fuss, but they finna get some mail. You feel me? So I'm like it's not. It's not about to be. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's like yeah. hey, player. I see what you did. That was fire. It was good. Hey, where's my what's, money? What's up? Where's my money? Hey, if you would like to continue this process, I suggest that you that you get that you get along with this business. Hell yeah! So because saying, at the end of the day, it's a business. Exactly. So you're saying you've just embezzled from me. <laughs> let's just say, <laughs> for the sake of the podcast, if you are Trin- Trinidad James, you had all gold come out. It's fresh out, and thirty to sixty days later. I spit a verse on it, and I get famous. I'm a nobody. I'm fucking straight eight mile trailer park trash. Nobody out of out of mid mid country. Nobody nowhere. And I and I got and I got opportunity now, based upon the verse I wrote on your shit. You want some money? I feel like the the man. Nah, because you don't got no money yet. Whether or not I got money off it yet, which is true though, right. which is very true because yeah. you know you I ain't got, got no, money. no money yet. You know so I'm gonna wait money. till you get some money. I'm gonna oh, see. Yeah? I'm gonna see. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. You gonna burn me? Yeah, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> you gonna fucking burn me? I'm gonna wait and see. Wait what and you see do if they it. blow up. Huh? Yeah, you crazy? I'm gonna wait and see what you do with it because really it's business, bro. <laughs> and you knew better. You knew when you was doing that what you was doing. I was fishing. Yeah. Okay. And I, I was caught, just and, fishing. And, and you done caught the big fish. 
Uh-huh. Okay. All right, all right, yeah. all, right, all, right all right. Don't don't jump into this water if you ain't ready to swim in it, man. All right, for real, because right. this so, industry see, is crazy. So really, the rapper who's rapping on that beat, he don't have no pull to it. It's all producer, huh? Yeah. The At that, that the point, if you're the still beat makes beast, more than 75, 80% of, of the hit. Yeah, if you're Unless, taking beats. If you're the, taking beat could, the, beat, the, 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 the song could be a hit without the words on it. So when a rapper buys a beat, okay. kind of. Now, a, hold on. Lease a or, minute, or buy minute, exclusive? Minute, okay. He said that the beat could be a song. Now, wait a minute. Can you man, said that the beat. You said that the beat could be a hit without the words on it. Correct. I don't believe that. You don't believe that? I don't. You don't believe that a beat is that fresh? That it is a hit without no, no words on it? No. It just sounds good? No, it just sounds You're good. You're tripping, bro. It sounds good, bro. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, look, I'm, not, I'm, I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know that because I listen to beats all day long. Okay. I feel like the Dre beat, the still Dre beat is one of those beats. That don't need no words on it. If you listen to an instrumental. All right. I, I, I got to know where you're coming from. Okay. Okay, see, you said the still Dre beat. Mm-hmm. Well, last episode, it's still Dre beat, still Dre beat without the lyrics without to still Dre. Dre. Yeah, that's well, what I I'm mean, saying. Okay, like it's you. a slap, yeah. But you don't even like that song because they wouldn't just do that. <laughs> they wouldn't just it put wouldn't it. It's still Dre now, no more. Now, now I would. Now I have listened to whole instrumental albums. I've listened to jazz albums. I've listened to instrumental albums. I and what is that? What do they call that? Uh, the lo fi's. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I spent all oh, days listening to that right. shit, and those are slaps. I could freestyle all day. You know what I'm saying? I could do, but it ain't a real. It ain't a song. Yeah, it's not a song. It's not a song. Like so name. you know that's mm-hmm. why it's out there for free. So you feel like Dr. Dre shouldn't get a million dollars for one of his beats? He hell no. Um, <laughs> yeah, run it. Listen to me here. Yeah, <laughs> let me hear it. Hey, look, oh, I ain't paying a nigga a million dollars for shit. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't no fucking house, look, look. Yeah, you, got me, you got me fucked up, nigga. I know you cool. All right, shit. fifty percent yeah. of the back end. Yeah, you can get fifty racks, but I ain't That's buying you know. I beat one by, beat, but a beat by Dre, you know, is gonna be. Solid. As long as you bring the lyrics onto it, you're easily gonna make a million dollars. He need to make me a song that catered to me, and I'ma still give him fifty racks. Damn, that's the top son. You gonna Beyonce that shit? I don't care. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I do not I care, bro. Because, <laughs> because because then it starts to then you start to class then you start to think about how much you value what you do, and I don't value it as much as you do. What you doing, huh? Yeah. yeah. Because it's, like Pop say, it's, I a, respect it's a million it. people out here doing what you do. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I, re- I, respect, I respect you. But you it's get not the a million respect. Dre's. But value is, is is uh it depends uh, on the person. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, that makes, yeah. that brings to thought the uh, shit when a motherfucker be selling a used car. You love that used car. You done put everything, you done re-swap it's the engine and negotiable. all that shit in it. It's negotiable. Yeah. But, but guess negotiable. what? negotiable. I don't care that you swap the engine out of it. It's still an 85 Caprice. Yeah. So, and it runs. And it runs. So it's still 2,500, bro. Yeah. I don't care that you put a brand new 350 yeah, in it and all that. your wife had your first baby in it. I don't, I don't care. care. I don't, care. I don't, I don't, care. I don't give a fuck. Oh, well, I put all this money into it, etc. That's hey, great. Hey, you know what? Keep it. That- Keep it, player. Yeah. Keep that shit. <laughs> keep that shit, player. Why you got that shit on Auto Trader? Yeah, keep, keep that it. shit, dog. Take that shit off Craigslist, bro. Keep it. I you get all this so much. It. That's a that's Keep a good it. example. Okay, cool shit. then. Because niggas be like, oh man, I put the fresh seats in it. I put the folds on it. I, I, right. I redid this. I put the, I put the subs in it. That's what's I, up. I, I, I cut out this and put the sunroof. Thousand in. I need, extra. I need ten bands. Thousand. I no. said, bro, that's a ninety four Caprice, homie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You want that shit almost 30 years old. What are you talking you put, about? Yeah. You put a, bro, you put another Caprice into the Caprice. Into the Caprice. <laughs> and you want me to pay for your upgrades, for your yeah. foolishness. <laughs> you stupid as hell. This shit still, this you, shit still squeak when the yeah, brakes shit. you're supposed to yeah. keep that. You yeah. put all that money into it, you keep Kelly it. Blue Book says 3500 <laughs> Hey, Kelly Blue Book. What does it say, though? <laughs> Hell no. We ain't never lie. I could get 10 all day. Not from me. Not from me. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh shit! Hell yeah! Oh. All right, my so boys. He said, this, means, this one got cheese in the crust. I think this is the pepperoni. The yeah. bottom one was the ch- chicken and yeah. This something. one got cheese in the crust. The we other one don't. Here, I get that shit to the dog cheese. Yeah, go for it. My boy said, "Hey man, this one right here is special." Yeah, run me another one. Yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, majority of podcasts I've seen, they don't really do this. Uh, Food thing in the middle of it, but we I think lit, man. This yeah, is we family lit. affair, man. Yeah, we, we I ain't know. been seen with my brother in a minute, man. Yeah, ain't no go, other man. podcast like this podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hold up, big nigga. <laughs> you know, I've I, I've told a few people like, hey, uh, as soon as I as soon as I start inviting uh, inviting guests, that you, you you're going to be one of the five people or ten people that I'm going to have in here. But you're definitely one of the first five people, three you're people top, that I've that I mean, I've really, I wanted down in here. Since we could call you top three. <laughs> Strictly, uh, strictly based upon uh, on your work ethic and how you've worked over the years in the music scene and balanced your life right. and music. It's the balance, man. That's where you really get the respect for me from. Yeah, for real. And I and I and I started and I and I had to, uh, you know, really have that in my mind with myself before I even started doing music. That's like how far you want to take it, you know. How What's your end goal? That's it. a serious conversation. You get one of these Especially. These it's, a like ser- it's a serious conversation because um, how serious are you? And uh, I knew what I was interested in. I know that I like to express myself. I know that I got a lot of things that I want to talk about. Mm. But I know that it's not a lot of people that I want to see in my face. It's not a lot of environments that I want to. <laughs> That's real shit. It's though. not a lot. Of, you know what I'm saying? It's not, a lot, of, it's not a lot. Of, um, <laughs> it's not a lot of. Uh, 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 it's not a lot of. It's not a lot of things that that uh, that lifestyle brings to mm-hmm. you that I'm interested in. I understand. And that. Uh, it's in the beginning. It's kind of a. It's kind of battle with yourself. Really got to figure out what you want. It's about finding that balance. Yeah, and what you, you want. You got to find what out your what end you goal. want. How far and, do you want to uh, take this thing? Like, oh man, do I want to be the? Do, do, do I want to be the man? Do I want to be yeah. the man? Do, do, do I want to be the super famous, rich, super? Do I want to be rich as fuck, superstar? You can't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Do I want to travel or, the world? Or am, or am I? Or am I gonna be the tech nine who gets to? Yeah, or am I? Get or, his money or do I just home? want some money? Am I doing it for the money? Am I doing for the nah, bitches? I'm doing this for yeah. Am I doing it for the bitches? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and these are all legitimate questions, man. Right. This ain't just. It's not just being funny because all of these things is demons pay, that can enter your life. They're paying to the play in, in in this in this. Dream. It's all these is all and things if you haven't decided already what it is you want. If, yeah, then all of the come, then all of those things will take advantage of your life as they yeah. come, huh? As they come, because they coming. Yeah. So that's why Ace Hood said. I got control of my, I got, uh, I mastered my demons, so now I've mastered myself. Mm. Yeah, because if you don't know what, what's what's going to uh, influence you and your actions, then you succumb to whatever comes to you. <laughs> you a sucker. Yeah, you <laughs> see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's dangerous as fuck. Yeah. That's so dangerous because the way the world is now, there's so much influence. Right, it's so much influence, and it's not just like, oh, well, you know, they'd be okay. They'll find themselves. What if they don't? It or, don't happen or like that. They'll or, lose themselves, or or some or some gonna find you. Mm. Whether you find whether yourself you or find not. yourself or not, man, you find your and that's what and that's the thing, man. For real, the way that the world is right now is so fucking crazy, man. If you ain't lacing your young ones or lacing your family or lacing your peoples around you, somebody else is going to get that spot. Right. Somebody else is going to take advantage of that misinformation. Somebody's going to take advantage of your miseducation. And it's fucked up. But at the end of the day, you know, you just got to find a purpose. Like you say, you got to be a purpose-driven person, purpose-driven lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I read that in the book. I be reading a lot now. I don't do a lot of talking. If I'm talking, you're going to hear me on my music. How much TV right. do you watch? I, 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 know TV, you, I, know I only on watch TV to go to bed. I know you're on the... <laughs> I, I, I know you're, you are You stepped away from being so active with the music and uh, posting on social media and doing all that, and you're doing some real-life growth right. shit right now. And it's hard to really mix the two, so you, it's really best to just put one down... Lift the other one up, then pick the other one up again after you do some growth. Right. Yep. 
So um, what I was trying to get at is um, what have you learned from your last run that you're going to do in your run this this run that you didn't do last time? What are you adding to your hustle? The question, co-host. Okay. Do tell, Rita. So... From the last, from like the last project or my last the, drops or my last. The, just... the last I remember seeing you being heavy on social media, you uh, you had the clothing line, you dropped it, you're 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 working around the fucking clock to to print those out, give them yeah. to the people who's ordering them, and you uh you, you dropped that last project, uh, right. the house business. Yep. So house business comes around, um, the True House Collective comes around. <clears throat> It's been around, just like I've been around. I realize, you know, you're only going to put as much effort at, you only going to get as much results as much effort as you put, put in. in. Absolutely. So, um, as, and, and, and I can say what I learned from that is that it's not always monetary. Okay. You know what I'm that saying? It's sense. not always about how much money you put into it. It's about how much time. Energy. And energy that you yeah. put into your crap. Because if you don't put the energy into it, just like if you don't love yourself, who's going to love you? Man. If you don't, if you don't, you know what I'm saying? Who, if you don't fuck with you, if you don't think you're the best, then who the fuck is going to care? That's something I was if telling you him don't, about. If you don't work on what you feel like is something that you're important. interested in and it's important, who else is going to think it's important? I was telling him, exactly. I felt like, man, it just sound like when I listened, like, this is the first time when you played your music. That's the first time I've ever heard you. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Didn't, I, I didn't give him no drops, no nothing. I figured this is all, good. all organic, y'all right here. So Bro. normally yeah. when I hear niggas from here, I be like, oh man, this shit, the, the delivery is the delivery is trash. It's <laughs> off. It's, it's a it's, little it's, off. It sounds like you don't want it. Yeah. You don't sound hungry. You're not hungry. So guess what? If you don't sound hungry to me and all I'm doing is listening... This shit, nigga, I'm not going to feel it. And if right. I don't feel it, I damn sure ain't buying it. Yeah. <laughs> right? And so I'm listening to your shit, and I'm like, if my body start moving, then I must it's like feel some, something. Some, it's like something in there. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. I must feel something. You, you hit me right there. Come yeah. on, man. Yeah, you hit me right there. I feel that. So I, I feel, feel like that. that's a big problem up here is that they don't, people don't, they're there's no catering. passion. They're not catering to their audience. There's no, there's no oomph to it. Okay. Oh, okay. There's no delivery. Okay. There's, no, there's no there's no power you behind your punch. Your punch is, is limp wrist. And see, I feel like that comes with them chasing that, chasing that spot. See that it, your your drive you're and your craft. You chasing that spot. And at the end of the day, when I say what I gotta say, I say what I say because I mean what I say. I don't want my little brother Mario. I said Mario, he part of the house. Bro, little bro, he always tell me, he said, man, when you going to go through some shit so you can make another project? Because your shit always fire when you going through it. I said, bro, fuck you. First yeah, of all, yeah. I wish you had so many of them on me. And second of all, <laughs> I appreciate that for the feedback. But at the end of the day, he's not wrong. Yeah. When you comfortable, what the fuck do I got to, you know, I'm chilling. Good. Yeah, so I'm, I don't I, have what do to, I need know, to make got something nothing, about? You know what I'm saying? They fuck with me because I'm dope. You know what I mean? I'm good. But actually, I got something to say. That's at the, at the, at, If you think about it, the up-and-coming rapper is like, oh, yeah, we want to hear about your grind. We want to hear about your come up. Yeah, your struggle. We want to see about how you, how you made it up from wherever you fuck you at right now, how you made it to yeah. having these millions. Why are we paying you? Why are we giving you our money? Yep, T. Grizz. You see what I'm saying? Why the fuck am I giving you fifteen dollars? Why do I gotta pay? Why am I checking for you? Oh, cause you got a story. Let me know your story. Okay, I fucks with that. Okay, that's cool. But after that, they what they call that? Um, the sophomore slump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That second project. Yeah, whack as fuck. Because yeah. you don't have because you got after money that. now. Yeah, yeah you're, you're not hungry no more. Now. And you like, oh man, I was at the Disneyland park yeah. with my kids and shit. We don't was, they was like, don't nobody want to hear that. Nobody want to hear that. I ain't we been wanna, to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never went over there. <laughs> nah, bro, you still got you got to deal with demons when you're dealing with music. See, you got to so, help people get through some shit. So that's why they say Taylor Swift and Rihanna are so successful is because they write about. Things that they're they, going yeah, they through. Rap, yeah, they rap. Yeah, they rap. If you rap about your pain, life. if you rap about your pain, oh man, you gonna touch a hundred people. And yeah. that's what Taylor and, Swift does. But Whatever's you know what? going on, it's hard. As it's and hard. I'm speaking from an artist's perspective, bro. 
I don't want to tell everybody my business. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to let I don't want to let everybody know that you know what I'm saying I might have had a bitch with a miscarriage. I don't want to tell everybody that I want to, you know what I'm saying, that I'm going through it with my parents. Nigga ain't I don't, making enough money. You know money. what I'm saying? I don't want to tell everybody that I don't got no money. You Word. know what I'm saying? So they might hide all of their pain. They might hide all of them songs. That's bangers. See, but those are the ones that's going to If you so if, if If somebody was behind you to tell you that, bro, I know that that's something that touched you deeply, but you don't understand how many people that's going to hit. Yeah, yeah. You need to hear that because shit. Because I tell you and right now, need you. I could relate more to the nigga who pockets ain't touching than to the nigga who said, I'm balling out control when I'm in the club throwing snacks. Yeah. You know what? I mean? That shit makes that, that shit make that. you feel good. It makes you feel good. Yeah. yeah. It makes you feel good, but then it ain't your life. That's crazy. You see, my brother showed me this chart about how certain music and you feel it in certain places, certain music you feel in your mind. Certain music you feel in your heart, mm -hmm. certain music you feel in your body, certain music you feel that makes you want to get up and do something or something like yeah. that. So when you said that it feels good, yeah, I'm thinking, okay, I feel that in my in my soul, right? And like that's what I want to do, like, hey, yeah, that's no, what I want. Hey. I, I would love yeah. to, I would love to imitate that. Yeah, but like some most deaf or something, some shit that I feel in my mind. I'll be like, oh, hit you. That's gonna make you think about. It's more valuable. Niggas, it's gonna make you think about some, some shit. Way more say, valuable. I came. I, came I, I, I was selling dope, doing this or this. And now I'm rapping and I'm you, good. You feeling? You feel that, that struggle? I, I you like? Yo, I, I can relate to that personally instead of something that I'm acquire. Um, that I'm aspiring to be. That I'm aspiring to. You I'm aspiring to throwing racks in the club, and I'll be thinking. Shoot, let a nigga come in the club throwing racks. Me and the bitches is gonna be yeah, on the we're floor. All, I'm doing one. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing the scoop foot. Yeah. Doing the scoop foot. And I ain't yeah. got no shit. Hey, you got to get out of here. Shit, I made a band tonight. Hey, for sure. I got me my money. I ain't <laughs> had to shake nothing to do nothing strange for Man, no change. What you know about strange for the change? Hey, <laughs> You've been around a little bit. You know what's hey, up. I don't know nothing about nothing. I don't know nothing about nothing. Bird of change. I don't know about nothing, man. <laughs> all right, we'd be, we'd be definitely all over the place. Um, uh, the next question I got on this list over here is uh, how to avoid becoming a, bo a broke rapper. How to avo oh, avoid shit. becoming a oh, broke man, rapper. Oh, man, keep you some money. <laughs> don't spend all your bread? That's it. Go to work, nigga, huh? Yeah, man. Invest in invest in invest in yourself. If you're um if you want to make if you want to be independent, invest in yourself. If you got the hustle, go for it. Then go get it. Right, so if you don't, if you don't, go get a job, my nigga. Go to work. Bro, you not Puff Daddy? <laughs> Bro, you not you not Jay-Z. You not you not you not none you you're you're not them. You Sean. are you are you. Sean Combs. I'm gonna look look at look at me. You feel me? I'm telling y'all right now. You are you. Don't let nobody make you feel bad about being you. Word. You get your money how you got to get your money you to take yours. care of your lifestyle. To take care of you. Yes, at the happen. end of the day, don't that, that, hey, what the next person eat don't make you shit. Yeah. You get your you get your money and you do it proudly. Do it Absolutely. proudly. So whatever, however it is, you get your bread on that. Yeah, you respect yeah. you respect yourself before you ask for respect from nobody else. I know that's right. Shoot, I do what I do, and I'm proud of me. All right. So uh, when it comes to say you got ten songs, you want to record at a studio, you pay for time, and you get a mix and mastered. Let's go. <laughs> what is the ticket on that? How much is the ticket? How fast can you get it done? No, well, how fast it's you, not, it's not can about you get my it done? It's not about my I want to know it's personally. How, it's, how much, it's how much an hour for the studio session and how much they charge you to mix and master their songs. All right, so if you got 10 songs, though. I got 10 songs. They're ready to go. Written, 10 rehearsed. songs right now. I'm ready to go. Written, rehearsed. I can knock it out in at least a couple hours. I would say five or less. Five five hours for the whole whole five album. hours or less whole thing ad libs all songs ten songs whatever damn day. I'm fucking done that's impressive and I'm bro at, I'm looking at you like what you got I'm looking at the engineer like now yeah. it's time for you to do work to do what you got to do now do what you gonna do I'm sitting here everything listening. there I'm listening to what I just did and you better make it different you better figure yeah, out it better what the be fuck different you got. it better be it better be ready do you know uh, do you under uh, understand the difference of like what you what you when you're playing the beat and 
before you take it to the studio, you got it in your head, you're playing it, you're writing the song, and you hear it a certain way in here. But then you take it to the studio, and you drop it, and you lay your, your vocals, and you do your dubs, your second take, your third takes, or what, everything you think you need, but then you hear it again, and it's not the way you hear it, you heard it in here. Uh, mm. What happens? Saying, what do I do? What do I do? We stay do there. Do we then? stay there till it's fucking done. Do you just? Yeah, we do it again. Do you find it hard to elaborate the language it takes to translate what you hear and hear after nah, you lay it to the that's what, that's producer? That's why you practice, bro. That's why you practice, man. That's why I be telling people if you're gonna go to the studio, if you got money like that, then you could do it. I don't be having money like that. I'm gonna keep it funky with you. Do you hit the studio I, with one song? I go there. I no. If I can, I go to, I go there with as many songs as I can fit. If I can fit three in one hour, we're doing that. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm My saying? My dog. Like, bro, yeah. I'm efficient. And <laughs> niggas, not, and they know that. Everywhere that I go, they know that. So that's why I go to Raw and not go to Money. If I'm on that song, I'm only going to them because they know how to work with me. They got shit situated for me because I'm situated for them. I come in there ready to not waste their ready. time. They yep. come in there ready to do what I need them to do. And it's boop and done. We, do, 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 and it works with, out great. With all, uh, all love to money because I fuck with money tough, uh, but I've never been down to raw beats. What does he offer that mo- that money does not? Industry. The industry level. Industry level. Okay. Industry level. He knows what the, he knows what his sounds are. He knows what he knows. It. He see money is like home base. That's what okay. I say. Yeah. Money is home. Money is home. Make you First feel instinct, good. Make yep. you feel warm inside. It's all good. You go there. You're comfortable. You know what you're going to do over yeah. there. You got it. You know who you're working with. Yep. It's cohesive. We good. Yep. You, you damn near. He you understands you what you're trying to get You out in the of. house damn near. That's that's what it is as far as I'm concerned. You know yeah. what I'm saying? As far as money is concerned. Money, money, kid, money is, if he wanted to be, he got keys to the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how definitely in a circle, most definitely. Yeah. But uh shout out to money on track. Yeah, for, for sure. real, for sure. Uh at the end of the day, that's what that is. It's the relationship that you have with the with the person. But, but uh like I said, I haven't been to uh Raw, which I would love to go over and work with him yet. But what, okay, good. Raw, I'm glad Raw, to hear you Raw, say that. You're stepping Raw, off to Raw, Raw, Raw's, Raw's gone. Raw's at, at, He's in the little forty eight now? Yeah, he's, he's in the States. I see he's got another studio he's down in the there. States, that's and where, that's uh, why I fuck with Lungs. Uh, shout out to the boy Lungs. Shout white boy? boy? Yeah, Lungs. Yeah, Lungs is I be peeping him lungs on uh stupid. Lungs dummy, uh, man. Lungs got stupid dummy. Hey man, look King Koo. Hey, fuck with Lungs. Yeah, that's where I be peeping him from. That's where he got his credits that's where he get his credits if he ain't got no credits that's where his credits is due at at the end of the day look man look, is he nice fire lungs that's what we're gonna say we're gonna say what that's what we're on the gonna board say. that's what we're gonna say right now lungs is fire Buck with lungs. And producing Pro, uh, and produced that? by lungs Pro, produced by lungs on on, 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 on motherfucking ig fire stupid El he got all Fuego. the beats and he got he got a voice on him too he be he be trying to make him some little songs and tunes i feel like when he do drop it's gonna be something crazy yeah it's gonna be something crazy because he's running through artists he uh he plugged me up with mevlano shout out mevlano stupid crazy i got uh, he on, he made the project. He made the next project. The project gonna be stupid. I got Eastside. I got A one on there. Yeah. I got Mevlano on that motherfucker. I got Stickyano on there. Uh, if I can move a little couple things around, I'm gonna have a couple more folks. But if not, they gonna be on them singles. Yeah, you know, I'm reaching Hell out for. Yeah. I'm reaching out to Eddie Mac. Yeah. I'm reaching out to Donis the hottest. Um, we doing a lot of things. You know, whenever I pop out, I pop out for real, and it's gonna be yeah. something worth it. You know, yeah. I don't make y'all wait for nothing. You definitely don't pop out with nothing. Yeah, it's, it's, I definitely, oh, definitely. Come out yeah, hell yeah, no. Nah, definitely not, not with just not one ever. song or no. That's all he. No, he he, he come with a whole project, yeah, and a couple of videos. You can check this out and sit on that for a minute. I give you something to sit on. Yeah, because I know I'll be busy. So when you <laughs> yeah. see me here, take yeah. this package of shit. Yeah, and go I, through and it. I, and I, hit I, me I back. Yeah. Bit. let me know what you like after package. Yeah, I'm checking up. I'm checking up. I'm checking up. I'm Take checking up shit, and if you like it, bring some money. You could yeah, get some more. Sure. <laughs> for sure, yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like, look, look. If you fuck with it, I'm checking up. I'm checking up with people until like if I drop in August, like how I'm thinking about. Yeah. Like how I did last year, um, or the year beforehand. I'll be checking up with people till after my birthday, in February, in March. Oh, February. You know what I'm saying? So in March, and February, March, I'm still tapping in. 
because it's people who haven't fucked with me. I can still be pushing and doing that same push. People told me that if I drop a, a project, you can push it for a year. You can push it for however fucking long you want to. Do Hell you f- yeah. do you feel like uh, when you take a step back and you deal with real life shit for a while, and you drop some music off again, you step back and do music again, do you feel like you've lost any momentum? I don't feel like I lost momentum as long as my quality is up there. It's not about, you know what I'm saying, as long as your quality is quality over quantity. As far as, you know what I'm saying, I would Your love core to. fan base is... As far as, it, yeah, you know what I'm saying, my fan. I, I know people who fuck with me. They, you know, they fuck with whoever. And, you know, I fuck with whoever. I you know, it's a solid fan base that fuck with me. They looking for me you're, at the end of the you're day. You're really, really probably the only other local artist I, I know that has made a brand of, of clothing that's that's sustained yeah. a foundation. We still move it, and I started you with the You have clothing? Yeah, yeah, this is trill shit. Yeah, it's a whole lot of trill shit. And he does gonna, it all in house too. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna do that and and push, but I was. Um, you got some more coming, like when it's the next push yeah, with your music. Yeah, you got some that, a whole new next, yeah, with the next wave. With the next, got, yes, yeah. it do. It do. I right. get you a Letterman. I get you a cold ass Letterman. Ooh, it's yeah. fire. That's what's next on the menu, bro. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot of shit. You know, Blame. right on time for the to, for the season. You know, bro. Yeah. you know my fake my best color is you see. Yeah, I get you all black one. With the red trail house. Ooh. Fire, right? Look how Ooh. I did it. See how Ooh. I did it. See how I did it. Ooh. See how I did it. I know how to do he it. He lost me when he said all black and then he said, with the red trim and the red. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't until I seen I, you uh, uh, really grinding with that that I was like, you know, maybe it's time I put my shit into play. Yeah. And like, then you definitely yeah, inspire me, and yeah, and I'm still. Hey, and hey, you've been cool. I need, I need, I need, bros. I still need your crash course because you know what I'm saying. When the times comes, man, you see how I be. I yeah, be everywhere. Yeah, I be fucking everywhere. My yeah. time is like, all right, I'm here today. Yeah, with four hours. Yeah, as soon as you you uh, want it, you we got do it. Hour. Can we do it all right now? Yeah, uh, we can. Go, okay, cool. Let's yeah, do it. Right like, <laughs> It's yeah. cool, man. Yeah, I'm. I'm always open to learning new stuff. I'm always trying to, to advance my situation. As soon as I learn some new shit, I'm not instantly ready to uh, implement that. Yeah, but I always keep it in mind. I always make sure I'm ping yeah, ponging. Whatever the I'm time's always, right. You when know? the time, yeah, I'm, I'm more of a chess. I'm with. I'm really with the chessboard. And my it life is my life is. You feel me? My life is hmm. my life. I stop doing the Joneses. I stop. You know what I'm saying? Worry about what everybody else got going on. Yeah. Your life is your life. That's why I say you can do what you want to do. My boundaries is my boundaries. All of these things coincide with each other. Yeah. With my with my elevation. You see what I'm saying? It's not just like, oh, this nigga got a new job. He doing something different. Oh, he got a new bitch. Oh, no, nah, he doing something different. No, all of this shit is cohesive. Mm. All of these steps that I done took over the last year, two years, three years and a half, I might have, it might have looks how it look, but the outcome but is how all, I want. Yeah, the outcome yeah, is yeah. how I want it to be. It's all working together. You know what I'm saying? It's a method to the madness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you might, and it's not your business to know how and why and what. Yeah, that ain't none your business. What you gonna <laughs> see is what you gonna see is what I want you. What you gonna see is what I want you to see. Yeah. Well, how did you do that? Hey That's man, not your business. hey man, look, you know how I did it, and uh, it was and it wasn't pretty. You yeah, asked hard how work. I did, huh? Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Pop say you you yeah you like what he got, but you might not want to pay. But what you he might, paid might yeah for that. you know he paid he paid he paid the price he was willing to pay, pay for, that. for that. Are you? Yeah, you everybody's know, different. Man. Okay then, everybody's different, man. And uh, I didn't come from Southeast Dago to be giving up. I know that's right. You see what I'm saying? I yeah. didn't come. I didn't come. I didn't come. I didn't have all these laced up homies, and I didn't get all this game from my relatives in life. And all the positions and situations that I've been in to fail. To be like, I'm done. You see what I'm yeah. saying? To be like, oh, this is too much. I quit. Woo. No, I can't. It ain't never been like that. Patience and persistence. I don't put nothing on my yeah, body yeah. that I don't believe in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, patience man, and persistence for sure. Persistence. Yeah, man. Uh, so I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just waiting. For, I'm just waiting. All right, we're going to uh, uh, we're gonna wrap this up with uh, what do you got to say about the rapper who never buys beats. <laughs> I think what he you spoke on say? that already before. Yeah, man. Uh, you're Solidify not going to make no here. money, player. No money. You ain't get no money, player. Hey, okay. All right, bro. All right, so to the rapper that never buys beats, 
um, first of all, you know, uh, that's copyright situations. People don't like that. You stealing somebody's property, you wouldn't like that. At the end of the day, don't just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just and no. and like even if you don't got the money, give them the credit. Yeah, say produced. You by, know what I'm saying? Produced by whoever the fuck. So and so, Johnny. You Pye. know what I mean? Be and then you could give them. You could give them a hundred percent. And if and if they feel generous, they can give you what they want to give you. But don't steal. Yeah, don't that, steal. So stealing. But what if you're trying to make a platform? What if you're trying to get uh, build a buzz? You can do that, but hey, man, if, right you, hey, hey, if you if you kick, if you kicking the dough down with this shit, then take what you gonna take, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Take what you gonna take. I know I'm on both sides of the fence right now. Super. If you gonna do it, if you gonna do it the right way, do it the hard. right way. Yeah, and go hard. But if you gonna do it the wrong way, man, fuck them niggas, man. Take yeah. that shit, bro. Because <laughs> for don't real, kick man. The door hey, in. don't 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 just knock, nigga. Kick yeah. that motherfucker in, man. Take what you gonna take and and. and and be and be a hundred percent ready for whatever consequences they got for you. Hell you yeah. feel me? Cause that's all that's all it is, bro. Motherfuckers is scared of doing what they want to do because they're afraid of the consequences. And ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 Don't you kick Say the that, door man. kick the door in and, and raid the refrigerator. What are you nah, doing? Nigga, <laughs> nah. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, we gonna hey, we, hey look, we hey, we hey, we gonna end it like this on the story, man. Me and the homie, man, back in the day, man, we was you know, we was young and young and uh we were young. Mis- mischievous. Yeah. <laughs> so we had came up on the uh, on an establishment on somebody's residence that was uh open for up for grabs, we gonna say. So we went in there and found out that uh, I had found out in my, uh, my in, as an individual that I could go in there and grab whatever I wanted to grab whenever it I needed yours. what I needed to grab. It was mine. And then when I told my friend about this establishment in this situation that where we could go in there and get whatever we wanted, that was the last time that we were ever in there. Because as soon as we went in there, <laughs> my boy was like, oh, word. Every oh, now nah, he getting robbed. I was hey, like, okay, yeah, boom. Yeah. If you going to do it, do, do, do it. it. He took everything. Dude, hey, hey he we just, was cool for like three weeks. He came home and said, where's the couch? <laughs> no, nah, it was all, it was all, it was all, it was all like a jar of, he was like a young player that yeah. we had, you know what I'm saying, the, the came into a claims with, you know what I mean, and he would come in from the yeah. night to put his numbers and his tip monies and his you know, pocket chains in the drawer. And I went in there whenever the homies didn't have no cheese. It was like, oh, yeah. I got so you was just taking a little boop, bit. Boop, boop. You was just like, hey, and the I homie was like, on it. jar. <laughs> yeah. I told the homie, he was like, jar, other jar, jar. <laughs> Everything. All the shit. I was like, okay. All the silver. <laughs> Oh, so this is this what we supposed to do? Okay, yeah, this is how it get down. Yeah, this is how it's supposed yeah. to get down. If you going to do it, you are going to do it because at the end of the day, you get caught, you get the same consequences. Mm. You yeah, get the same consequences. Well if hard. I took twenty dollars or if I took two hundred, you going to jail. You are gonna get the same thing. You going to jail? Yep. So uh, hey, yeah. fuck, fuck playing around. Might as well go hard. Hell yeah. This is this has been uh, J Reader. A whole lot of trail shit representing the Trail House Collective. A whole lot of trail shit once again. Uh, blessed to be invited by the by uh by the man Mike Pederock and uh co host with the train. Uh it's all love. Hell yeah. It's all love, man. I like love. I'm gonna tell y'all like I tell them every time. It's all about the love, man. Hell For yeah. real. You got anything you wanna add, Drain? Nah, man, shoot, it was a good time, man. I hope that nigga Rita come back. Yeah, you he gonna have to come back. Man, we ain't done yet. I mean shoot. I just, I just uh, yeah, two I'm, hours I'm and forty minutes back. in the second episode, we, we're we lit, bro. Yeah, we stretching yeah, this up. We lit, man. Turn so down you, for uh, what? Let's yeah. go. <laughs> if you pay attention this far, and rock, that means you probably rock with us. So uh, head over to local nine on seven dot com if you want to support the podcast. Go yourself, uh, buy, buy yourself some merch. And again, that's local nine on seven dot com, and uh, we're sponsored by Northern Snow. Check them out at uh, ak snow cones at gmail dot com. Do Jerry it. Be during the building. Do it. Choo choo. Get on the get off the track, baby. All right, y'all, fees. Don't make me walk this chopper. Baby, big whip, you know we ride it. No place for you to hide it. Drop location and we slide it. Don't make me walk this chopper. Out. Don't I G flex, we cool and pull a hop out with them shoulders. Boy, you gon' make me do this, please. Please, please, please.